exactly what's going on. Gonna have to wait for Kingdom Come to load up though too. Charles oh yeah, we can't Fourth, skip this, can we? King of Bohemia and Holy Roman <laughs> Emperor. Had a long and... Long and... Bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Let's see. It says I'm live on Facebook. Which I am. Awesome. What quality am I streaming at here, actually? I could see that, huh? Okay, auto 720p. Good. What's it supposed to be at? Sorry that I'm outside here. I'm I'm trying to figure out what's going on exactly. Okay, yeah, that's the share. I know that. <laughs> okay. What about YouTube? Is it back to where it is? Also, I gotta see Twitch too. What? Okay, it's at. <laughs> And a nice frame rate here on Twitch. That's good. And what about YouTube? Is YouTube still doing a weird frame rate? And a nice frame rate here on Twitch. That's oh, no, good. It's, it's normal. Good. And what about you? Yeah, it's at 720p. Great. Awesome. Okay. Oh, and am I actually showing up as... Kingdom Come? I think I am. <laughs> Uh, I could check. Let me check on the dashboard really fast. Wait, why am I not? Because then I'm not there. All right. For some reason, Kingdom Come doesn't want to show up on Twitch unless I edit it afterwards. How weird. <laughs> Yeah, now it says I'm playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Before that, it was just saying I was playing Other. I don't know why that is. Hmm. All right, well. Should be all good then. Successful rain. Oh, it actually just leaves off there. Okay. Let's get back to Kingdom Come. Oh, hello, Candace. How are you today? actually have oh, it's still not giving me Facebook's messages why is it doing that all right there we go <laughs> all right let's hopefully I don't crash the game again <laughs> that was bad when that kept happening yesterday but we've got a lot done oh yeah Welcome back to the stream, everybody. Today we're playing more Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be playing for today. Since this one's not really a scheduled one. I don't know. We'll just keep going until I feel like it's there. Good. That's good, Candace. Good to hear that. All right. Not getting any weird frames. Okay. We're good to go then. I think this is just... Although, why am I not hearing any audio? That's not good. <laughs> did I? Uh, I think I already messed it up, didn't I? I probably did by accident. All right, hang on. Let me go out and come back in then. <laughs> Fixing tech issues on the fly, I guess. All right. Making sure I'm not missing anything here. All right. Well, there's a. Oh, thank you for the like, Candace. I appreciate that. Hmm. 
can't skip through any of this just yet. Hey, we're at least getting audio though. I think he, from all tabbing out and messing with that when it was in the middle of the cutscene screwed it up. <laughs> That's why we didn't have any audio. Which I'm going to have to do in... Well, I'm going to let it load first and then do that again. That way I make sure I'm not missing any messages from anybody. No one is born a Master Swordsman. It takes practice, Captain Bernard. Okay, I can't read that fast. <laughs> you find yourself outnumbered. It may be best to run away. No, we never run away. Even if it's a hopeless cause, we still stand there and fight. <laughs> if you end up on the wrong side of law, it's best to save your reputation by submitting to arrest and cleansing your soul. <laughs> With a little bit of crime and punishment. Yeah, maybe. The so last time we actually did part of the story, we did that assault on the humans camp. And that went well once I stopped breaking the game. Why is there still no audio in the game? What is going on? <laughs> um, something seems to be wrong here. Why would there be no audio? That's a bit weird. Let me just try loading just anywhere in here. Maybe not there. That might, that might not be a good thing. Uh, hmm. I might just be fixing issues today then. <laughs> We are on restrictions again, so this is nice to be able to see some family. Yeah, it is nice. Now, if only I could get everything working, so that would make more sense. Now audio's working. What is up with this one, then? Maybe load this and see? Hmm. And yeah, now we're getting audio. I th Maybe I broke the game so bad last time that it actually just doesn't want me to play today or something. <laughs> That'd be a first. <laughs> okay. We're here now, we're fine. That was weird. Alright. Hmm. Let's see, what do we got? We got, go to the upper hall of the castle. We got a couple other missions around here we can do. We gotta go kill some bandits over here. Um. Let's see what's going on over here at the upper castle first. Then we'll go kill some bandits. Hi, that's weird. Yeah, I mean, jeez. Yeah, that, that was weird. I don't know what that was about. You can do it. Yeah, my state is like number five of cases. Ooh, that sucks. Let's see, 
I'm gonna be switching back and forth between Facebook and YouTube for some reason it won't show me either of them with my other overlay so um, if I seem to be ignoring you for a little bit I'm not trying to it's just I can only read one screen at a time So let me run over there and then I'll switch over and see if I've missed anything there. How do I get into this part of the castle, actually? Oh, I gotta go up. Alright. I'm going the wrong direction. I gotta go up and around, and then talk to people up there. Yeah, all right. This is the way to the castle. It's where the tournament's being held. That's right. We missed the tournament the other day. We had to go do missions. <laughs> We're going to have to wait like another week before we can enter another one. I want to win that one so we can get our armor. Oh, yeah, we just go here. Cool. Let me switch over to YouTube really fast. Sorry about that. All right. Now hopefully I mess it up again. <laughs> My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. All right, another task. Lord, greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. Villagers held them off. Ooh. They even took one captive. He's wounded. We can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. <laughs> gather from the coin you carry. Uh... Tell me, how many Groshen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. Uh, that is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fact what? I don't give a fact what you call them. I don't <laughs> know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's <laughs> They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um, this here is just a pile of copper. Turra! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some <laughs> worth. <sighs> Kurva! Fuck! <laughs> Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groshes are freshly minted, so... <laughs> He's busy so throwing up it in the background. It's almost a limited source of coin. That's all we need. Doppelgang. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. They haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said we'd have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. All right, Merhayed, Detective Henry's on the case. <laughs> find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you. All of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Oh, all right.
Well, we've got some more missions to do then. Which is great. Well, it seems we always have work to do somewhere. <laughs> Alright, I haven't missed any messages, so once again, I'm gonna tab out and come back over here. Make sure that pulled pulled up. Again, sorry if anybody leaves messages and I'm not responding right away. I'm not trying to ignore you. It's just the, the, I have to switch between pages really fast to find them. All right, where are we going now? So, Merhoid's over here. Uh, Bandit's there. We've got... Those are actually the only two quests I have activated? I think I do. Let's see, what else do I got here? Oh, hey, we leveled up a couple times, too. The main level, uh, scout. Go with scout again. Whoops. Oh, I had some more there. Strength as well. <laughs> um, head cracker. All right. I know I set those last time, so I think it was just the save didn't take. Or whatever the heck happened to that save didn't make a whole lot of sense. I have anything to sell you, sir? I actually need my stuff repaired. What happened to you? I was in a war. I was actually in two wars. Um. Yeah, just fix all my junk. How much is this going to cost me? Six, $1,600. All right. You know what? Fine. Oops. Because I can sell him back. Pretty much all the stuff I got on that raid. He said I bothered picking out. Yeah, I gotta go to the tailor too and get my stuff fixed there. All right. That's right. I still need more meat for those other people too. All right. I could always go poaching. <laughs> Since they still want to let me hunt. Yeah, alright. Everything. Yeah, there. I spent 1600 I got 2.2 .2 back, so I'm fine. We're not hurting for too much money just yet. Actually, we're, not, we're never going to be hurting for money. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we still have like $30,000 or something like that. Some ridiculous amount. Alright, hopefully the tailor, tailor's here, because sometimes he's just not open for like days at a time for some reason. I don't know why. Then we can probably actually go down to the bathhouse, get our clothes all cleaned and everything. Taylor! God's all of my stuff is pretty messed up and dirty. Alright. Let's see, is all my stuff still dirty? Do I still have to go to the... Uh, nope, just the... Just my golden spurs are. Alright. Now we're not looking too bad. Alright. Ooh, rolls and pretzels. Sounds great. Um, up here then. I think it still has me looking for that priest around here too, but I already found him like twice. Don't know which one he is though. All the priests look more or less the same. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get mugged somewhere along the road. That'll be fun. Um, uh, no mugging so far. I noticed it's usually on the outskirts of woods. Oh, there's a pilgrim! Uh, let's avoid the pilgrim. Probably gonna try to sell us something. Gonna be more powdered unicorn horn. Oh, whoops. 
Hang on, let me check YouTube. I know I just got a message and I can't read it because I'm not over there currently. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, hello, uh... Gilu? Gilu? I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Where are you from? Oh, and hello, Martina. I think part of the names are getting cut off. Hang on. Yeah. Part of the names are getting cut off. All right. Um, you don't see the chat. I do see the chat now. It's partly in... Uh, I have to switch between YouTube and Facebook to read both of those. So, sorry about that. Um... Yeah, for whatever reason, it won't show me both when I pull up my unified chat. It'll only show me Twitch. Alright, Pebbles, come here. I need you. Yeah. See, I'm from the U.S. I'm originally from California. What yeah. about you? You don't have to say exactly where you're from. It'd be better if you're more vague with it. <laughs> and you don't even need to answer that question if you don't want to either. <laughs> Let's go over there. Oh, and yes, hello, Martina. It's nice to see you back at the stream. Sorry, I'm trying to read chat. I'm trying not to run head first into a tree. I'm from Spain? Oh, okay. Cool. Um, from what I've seen of Spain, it looks really cool. I would like to go there at some point. <laughs> my, uh, my Spanish teacher in high school had went to Spain and had shown us, like, a bunch of pictures from there. And I wasn't aware that there was, like, so many castles there. And he kind of explained that there was, like, a point in time where Spain was, like, super split up. So, like, yeah. everybody was building castles, like, everywhere. You know, to be owners of one place or another. And it looks really cool. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Martina? Yeah. I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's just having a good, uh... Saturday. Oh, well, there's the bandits right there. <laughs> we found them. Now it's time to take our revenge on them for what they did. Actually, they've done nothing to us, but they got to die. Yeah, look who come crawling out from under some rock. A guy with a bow. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bring it on. Hey. Oh. No. Stay back, sir. Yeah. Oh, my mace is too short. Hang on. Yeah. What the... What was going on there? Everything went slow-mo, but nothing happened. Alright, he's dead. Or he's knocked out. One of the two. It doesn't matter. He might have been knocked out since Headcracker. Push him back. Oh. Uh oh. Two arms. Get over here. Uh, All right. Hey, yes. I'll boy, stay together. Oh, that guy's surrendering. <laughs> All right. Well, then it's just a three v one then. Oh, we were stomping on the other guy that I beat down. Oh, that's not good. Ran out of stamina. Yeah, he's dead. Alright, which one of you wants to make a move? Oh, yeah, my defense went up? I think that's max level then. Awesome, now I'm stuck in a tree. Alright. Yeah, sure. Weak in the knees. <laughs> like that guy who just suffered extreme brain damage. Oh! <laughs> the funny thing was that guy was about to surrender. Settle down. Is that all you got? 
Okay. Oh, that was the leader. Okay. Just this last guy then. All right. Well, now that's a 1v1. We can kind of just batter him into submission. Blood will be spilt. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Henry. <laughs> Land a good counter blow on him. Or wiggle your mace around in front of him at least. Okay, I don't know what that was. Oh. Why is this guy so much better than the rest of them? This guy's not even the leader. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm bleeding. Didn't even notice. All right, bandage up my torso. Okay. Bye bye, bro. All right, see ya, uh, Martina Rodriguez. Sorry. My name. Uh, my name's Max. All right. Well, hello, uh, Max. Then. I'll be sure to call you that. Hang on, let me switch back over to Facebook and make sure I'm not missing any messages. Oh, it looks like we're good there. Okay. Yes, hello and welcome everybody to the chat. Today we're going to be playing some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Where we are that much closer to becoming a, a full-fledged knight. And, uh... I guess we're just going to be killing mostly bandits and who knows what else today. Should probably be healing. There we go. Ah, uh, mushroom. Okay, so... This guy's dead. I don't know where I killed the leader. Oh, he's over here in the bush. That's right, that's where I killed him. He's the only one that really matters. Ooh, and he had golden spurs too. Oh, and look at that. We got all of our money back. <laughs> he had a common shield. Yeah, he had a heavy war hammer. He had a little bit of a scary weapon. Uh, it's just a flesh wound. Exactly. <laughs> it actually was. It really wasn't that bad. Only a flesh wound. I cut your arm off. No, you didn't. <laughs> Then what's that on the ground? Oh, it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> uh. I like Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> so many good one lines from it. The funny thing is, um, especially about Monty Python, as so many people like uh, who do like history, uh, mostly related to like medieval history channels and stuff. As they point out, Monty Python actually gets a whole lot of things right. You're my favorite YouTuber. Oh, well, thank you, Max. I appreciate that. I'm glad that you enjoy uh, the streams and you enjoy the videos. Uh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was funny when uh, people... Oh, whoops, that's an axe. I meant to go pick the flowers. <laughs> Guys, I found an axe. They were growing axes out here. Yeah, the, uh, like, the educational, whenever, like, a new, um, medieval movie comes out that's supposed to be medieval, it's like, is it as accurate as Monty Python and the Holy Grail, which is a parody? <laughs> and it's like, at least in Monty Python and the Holy Grail, everybody's actually wearing, like, the correct, uh, like, clothing and armor and stuff like that. At least the knights are. And it's just like, that's, that's kind of funny, I think. <laughs> Usually not a good thing when you can say, oh, well, Monty Python is more accurate than, like, Braveheart is. <laughs> uh, well, lovely people, good morrow. Hello, Bloxmas. Welcome back to the stream. It's nice to have you. Where did all those other people die at? I know I killed several. Oh wait, no, this guy put down his, he put down his weapons. He was afraid, he ran away. See, that's the guy that, oh, I didn't search him. I just took his ax, that's right, all right. Um, okay. 
Then I swear there was like two more of them around here, wasn't there? I don't know where though. I think Robin Hood's is <laughs> was the most accurate movie, lol. <laughs> I like that one. That one's really good too. <laughs> and why should I believe you? <laughs> because I have the most British accent. Everybody in the room. Oh. <laughs> uh, or something along those lines. I love that scene. Oh, can't sprint when I'm overloaded. All right, I took too much stuff. Too fat now. All right, uh, let's eat from this pot and go to sleep here at their base. I mean, how many beds were there? One, two, three, four, five? Yeah, five beds. I killed four people and one of them ran away scared. So hopefully he doesn't try to come back and stab me in the middle of the night. That wouldn't be good. Eh, uh, which bed is the best one? This one? This one looks like they put some effort into it. <laughs> All right, I'm to rest. Yeah, I found it on YouTube. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, it's Candace. Okay, hey, Candace. <laughs> Well, welcome everybody to the stream. Hope you guys are having a good Saturday. Uh, today we're going to be playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm not sure for how long, but we're we'll playing it for some time. Um, and then tomorrow I'm also streaming. I'm from the Czech Republic. Cool. The Czech Republic also is a place that I'd like to visit at some point. It looks really cool as well. Plus, I find a lot of the Czech history very fascinating. At least from um, what I have heard about it. Yeah, put the shield on. Actually, this is... Um, partially takes place... This game. Um, it doesn't actually take place in... Um, the Czech Providence, it takes place in Bohemia, but I believe the humans are supposed to be, um, like Czech mercenaries. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's me. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that, that name looks familiar. Hang on a second. <laughs> Let's see, um, where else are we going? Go up there, we, uh, we still have this monastery to help out with, but... It won't tell me exactly what they need. Well, sort of. Oh yeah, we have a little 20 defense, so we actually have all the perks now. What does Weapon Cruncher do? Uh, okay, yes. I'll damage their weapons and armor faster. Sounds pretty good too. Uh, let's see, in God's hand, yes. The wounded scouts, the sick at the monastery, need some nourishing food. Lightly injured men. Oh yeah, I gotta make a some tranquilizers for this guy. He mentioned purple herb. Okay. So I gotta find a purple herb that has healing properties. The only purple herb I've found so far has been Thistle, and I'm pretty sure that has no healing properties. This? It might be this, actually. I don't know, can I eat this? Whoops, didn't mean to call you Pebbles. That's probably an other. Item info grows most of banks, water ditches around the field. Okay. How old am I? Uh, currently I'm 27. I'll be tw turning 28 soon. A lot of stuff to pick out here. It might be best if I just look for all purple herbs that I can find. Since that guy just needs something. I mean, we're finding plenty of this stuff. <laughs> Don't know if this is what you need, though. 
I'm free. Hmm. It might be like a rare herb that he needs though too. That's some. That's sage. That's definitely not what will heal you. <laughs> I I have no idea what this is though. I might want to get a bunch of it just so I can see what it is in the uh, the books. They said consult the the herb books, but I haven't found any herb books, so I don't know what they're talking about. Also, I think I have like a much easier way of solving this problem since the guy says he can't go to work and he's afraid that his family's going to be poor. Like I, I'm stupidly rich right now. I could just give him money and call it a day. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, I guess this was kind of pink, huh? I don't know what these flowers are. Sage heals your spirit. <laughs> yeah, there we go. This will fix your spirit. I have a broken bag. <laughs> Well, all right, one problem at a time. Hang on. <laughs> we'll fix one and then fix the other in time. I'm trying to think of what other herbs are actually purple, though, because I can only think like lavender. I don't think eating lavender is going to help you at all. Um. I could go over here. There's an herbalist there. They might have a purple plant. Uh, whoops. That's not what I meant. Pebbles, I need you. Good horse. All right. Yeah. Let's go. I need to cross the river or not? Side of the river I'm on. Um, no, don't cross it. Alright. That'll make things easier. Alright, just one moment. I'll check over on Facebook too and make sure I'm not missing any messages over there. Let me get over to this herb place first, and then we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of wish you could go fishing in this game too, in some way. Whether that be with your bow or with a an actual fishing rod. The only way you can catch fish is if you just happen to find somebody else's fishing trap and just steal the stuff. Even though. It's I considered stealing for yeah. some reason. Yeah. Oh, found another shrine. Yeah. All right. Semo pesh. Okay. This is actually a place. I guess it is. All right. Oh, can I actually get to the? Hmm. Yeah, there's a woodland garden here. And there's some purple stuff in it. Is it this eye? Eye bright is sort of purple, but not really. What is this? Now this is more of that stuff that I was already picking. The comfrey or. Comfy, or however you say it. And then more sage. <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap everything that's purple in one package and give it to that guy. Tell him to eat it. See what happens. He'll be my guinea pig for the moment. Also, I think it's funny that nobody ever gets after you for doing this. <laughs> it's just you wander into their garden and steal their plants. <laughs> you think you'd be mad about that? get some more of this. Yeah, I don't know, because I don't want to give him the wrong thing and have the mission just fail. Or worse, if he just dies or something. He'd, he'd definitely die if I give him this. 
<laughs> I couldn't find any purple plants, so I got you this red mushroom. <laughs> Try this out. <laughs> Or, you know what, one of these other mushrooms. I'm sure one of them has to be poisonous. Alright, the herbalist is somewhere in these woods. Ah, here they are. Hey. Good morning. Let's trade. Let's see, do you have anything? Oh, you got a treasure map. I don't have that one. Uh, no, this I already have. Got all these potions. Poison? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, grasses and herbs. Buy a book. These. What is a doll maker potion? Your muscles atrophy and you lose control of your limbs. Your entire body fills a wood and. Okay. Oh, we can make somebody suffer from atrophy. Great. I don't think I need that. That was a Bane potion. That was a strong nausea and massive health loss leading to death. Okay, I definitely don't want that. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Hmm. All right, well, I can check in here. I still don't understand. Wait, what? I was passing. But it says there's a bench here. Okay, what's, what's over here in this book? I need to read this book. Uh, bitter herb to strengthen the... No, not that. That's not what we need. Antidote? Nope. Omen's Brew, that's not it. Bane Potion, that'll kill people. Uh, Bard Potion. Is this one? Makes you good at conversating. Nope, that's not it. Let's see, do you have a girlfriend? No, currently I do not. I'm single right now, Max. Let's see. Um, in your, no, we don't need people getting enraged. Digestion Potion. Uh, once you've overeaten or overindulged in alcohol, then you're fine? Okay. I mean, that one could be good. It's sage and chamomile, so it, it should be good for you. Arrow, arrow the dog potion. <laughs> Let's see, whoever has overindulged in demon alcohol. Uh, so wait, this... Oh, okay. So this is also like a... New cockerel, what is this one? Eyes. Wait, what? He whose eyelids are falling and its body ceases to serve him. And have a long journey, let this push. Oh, restore your energy. Okay. Save your schnapps, not need that. Marigold, that one's good. That one heals you, but don't need that one. Lazarus potion. Um. A yeah, drink that lacks little, for it would raise even the dead from the grave. Gives new strength to the wounds. And this one does take the comfrey drug. So this could be actually what the guy needs. Um. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Actually, I could check to see what things he needs. Add stamina, reduce speech. <laughs> if you eat this, it reduces speech. Do it. Do what? The Lazarus potion or the... Yeah, I could try making it. I still don't fully understand, so... We can try it out. Oh, whoops. I didn't see exactly what we needed. Okay, so I need... Need to go to recipes first. Lazarus potion. All right, so you need water. Okay, so you need water, two handfuls of comfrey, and one valerian. Lazarus, yeah. Um, okay, boil the valerian for one t for one turn. I think that's a turn of the the uh, the thing. 
Okay, so I'm preparing this. So I need water. Thanks. Oh, thank you for the like, Michael. I appreciate that. I'll check over on Facebook in just one second if you're messaging there. Was that? File. Still. Dish. Mortar pestle. Okay. Um, okay, so I need to put this in first. Put that in the cauldron. Oh, whoa. The water's freaking out there. Okay, and then I, I need to... Oh, bellows. Okay. Going on sand glass. Sand glass, right? And then bellows. I need to let it boil. And what, what's the next step? Um, then grind conf comfrey, add comfrey to that, boil it once, and then distill it. Okay. You have a pet animal? Yes, I do. I have a pet turtle. His name's Merlin. So I need, oh wait, I need this. And I need to put it in there. Do I need both then? Probably do since it said add that to it. All right, then I need this. All right, grind it up, Henry. Hope I'm doing this the right way. Okay, and then I add that to it. And then I got to boil it again. Yeah. I get hot. I think this counts as boiling. Could be wrong, though. Hang on. Let me just keep trying to use the bellows. As it said once it's like bubbling. Oh, okay, that's actually a boil. So I might have messed this up. Should be able to make gunpowder. It'd be nice to see things. Get yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right, and then. How do I use the still exactly? That's probably what it means by boil for a turn. I gotta turn this over and then set it and let it boil until it uh, completely goes out, huh? Hmm. What is this exactly? Oh. Okay. That makes sense. You bird Lazarus. Oh, I actually did it. <laughs> I did it. I made something out of this. That's that's a very difficult mini game to do, but hey, Hey, lady, I broke into your house and made something. It was awesome. All right. Um, that might be what I need. Watch, I messed it up and it gave me like a tainted Lazarus potion or something. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's go back to the monastery. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, I did it. I don't know entirely how, but we did it. <laughs> That's all that matters. All right, hey, let me switch over to Facebook real quick to make sure I'm not missing any messages. Oh, hello, Michael. Uh, hi, also, my dad wants to know uh, if you have any turkey you can send? Do I have any turkey I can send you? <laughs> yeah, we got leftover turkey. I should probably send you that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Again, sorry if I'm missing messages to anybody. Um, I can't pull up YouTube and Facebook at the s same time. So I can only get uh, Facebook or YouTube or, or I can either get um, Facebook or YouTube or Twitch. I can get Twitch all the time, though. So if you're on Twitch, then I will get all your messages. And again, if I'm missing messages, um, 
Sorry about that. I'm not trying to ignore anybody. It's just I can't see them all at once. All right, I'm back. I've got, um... Apparently I don't have the thing for you. Oh yeah, these are all the wounded people that just need to sleep it off, as Henry said. Oh yeah, that guy would put his leg back in place. He's good. Uh, hopefully I have what you need. Uh, Belladonna, <laughs> do not give him that. <laughs> that would be really bad. Try this. I don't think he needs all of them. Just, just one. Wait, what? You really want to cancel the hand of Wait, what? Confirm delivery? Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. Yeah, sure. Okay, I think that was actually the right herb. Dear Mistress Yohan, Yeah, do that. <laughs> I come again in admiration of your selfless dedication. Ah, oh, this guy again. I would like to invite you to a fine banquet at my palace. You yeah. certainly have earned some <laughs> what business have you here, fellow? Who let you in? What? I'm taking care of the wounded. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure you're aware. Ah. Well then, run along and take care of them, and let me talk to Johanka. You're not needed here. Uh, no, I outrank you. <laughs> I'm having the banquet here. Wouldn't it be better to have the banquet here, custodian? What? If you won't give the sick anything else, can you at least hold the banquet here? <laughs> I don't think he liked that. Nobody's going oh, to oh, good night. All right, way. well, later, Max. Lock him up for the night and let him learn some manners. What? You can't lock me up. Yes, he can lock me up. <laughs> Due to the power of a cutscene. All right. <laughs> he actually locked me up for the entire day. <laughs> It was noon, man. Now I'm serving jail time. I haven't had to serve jail time in like, I don't know, at least a couple weeks. Mostly because now I can just intimidate all the guards and none of them will arrest me. <laughs> I can't believe that. He, he arrested me and threw me in jail for, what was that, 18 hours? The worst thing is, I have to go talk to him because he's giving me work, too. <laughs> so I have to act like this didn't even happen. Or at least he will. Get out before I break a few of you. I make 50 of them and sell them in half the price. So, yeah, exactly, for the Lazarus potion. What? Wait, this is where you were holding me? Oh, I guess this is a dungeon. Okay. I was like, you're holding me out in some shed? Come on. <laughs> At least I have a proper dungeon made. Alright. Um. What, it, okay, yeah, okay. I was like, he sent me to a different town to be arrested in. <laughs> but no, okay, it's just the other section of the town. Alright. That, that's okay. And there's somebody over at the butchers. That, wait, I got I got that stupid in, in prison buff now or debuff now. What does that one do? Release prisoner. Uh, you have left jail. Your malnourishment and overall weak condition. Your strength, agility, and really, I have to suffer all these penalties because he put me in jail. That's. That's not good. I wish to talk to uh, whoever the activity giver is over here. I don't know what they're doing. Make him a bad potion to give him that. Give him that one that turns into a wooden puppet. Yeah. <laughs> gonna give you Pinocchio syndrome, dude. You're gonna turn into a donkey. You're gonna turn into a puppet and then a donkey. <laughs> Jails get full, so they had to trans you <laughs> transfer you to another one. Yeah, exactly. Well, that time I wasn't even, like, doing anything wrong. 
Usually when I go to jail, I actually did something wrong. I killed somebody or... Actually, no, I, I didn't... I never got arrested for killing anybody. I usually got arrested for trespassing or for... I got arrested for not having a torch in town one day, too. That was weird. Oh, we can't go in here just yet. Well, I mean, since we're a criminal, we might as well, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, they are. We have, yeah, we have to wait here until they come out. Cause I can't just barge in there. Otherwise, I'm definitely gonna go to jail again. Oh yeah, we got another treasure map. Scallops that way by a dead tree. Hmm, probably something buried there. Oh, I have another treasure map. Okay. West of Rite, near the entrance of a cave, it looks like. Past a busted wagon. Interesting. Alright, where is that other book I can read here while I'm being punished? I don't know why it wouldn't let me read my book while I was in jail either. <laughs> I don't know. Didn't you get arrested for punching somebody? Did I get arrested for punching somebody? I might have. I beat up a priest the other day, but I didn't get arrested for that. Um, <laughs> doesn't sound that good, but... <laughs> oh, hello, uh, Mikey Monkey. How are you today? Hi, my reading went up and my herbalism went up. Great. Yeah, I have a new skill in reading. What do I get in reading then? Oh, I can pick any of these. What does Swoop do? Uh, it doesn't matter to you where you read, you get bonus and learning. Oh, okay. That, that actually sounds pretty good. Avid reader. Um, okay. Art connoisseur or in the flow. I guess I go with Swoop then. Yeah, I wasn't aware if you read enough, you just got to see everything on the map, which is nice. I don't have to go and explore everywhere. I just kind of know where I'm going. Yeah, look at that. All those penalties from being in jail. Actually, I think the speech is something else I have, but... Oh, now I'm hungry again. I'm hungry, I'm sleepy, and I'm still... staggered by the jail time. You have a... You. something for me. Are you need help again? Help in hand, Master Butcher? Up and hand? Yeah! Wow. But I've got a problem with supplies. Oh, yeah? I understand. The roads aren't safe these days. No, that's not what I meant. Beef and pork I can get plenty of. But the burgers here have a taste for aristocratic food. And oh, okay. you can help me with that. You want me to poach game? Heaven forbid I would ever suggest such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you would have to get it by... Uh, other means. Raise them my debts again. Plans, <laughs> okay. The game doesn't grow on trees. No, but if you happen to be walking in the woods and uh, came across something, if you see what I mean. Yeah, all right. All right. Excellent. Get me a wild boar. Good luck to you. Wild boar. Okay. With a bite to eat. Yeah, actually, I could. Hey, butcher man, could you sell me some food? Yeah, some bacon. I'll take it all. Actually, I will. Well, no. Well, actually, that's not a bad idea. I could actually just buy <laughs> all the food that the poor people need. Yeah, you got some rabbit meat, you got some horse meat, you got some mutton, some pork, just all the smoked sausages as well, salamis. Probably grab all this dried meat too. All right. I'm spending a thousand dollars on this. <laughs> oh, that's right. Since I went to jail, half my food is now bad that I had on me. All my mushrooms perished. Only the... Only the strong survive. <laughs> See? Oh, thank you for the follow, Mikey. See? I have enough meat for Yohanka. Where is she? She's up at the... That's right. She is still up there. Alright. Let's go, Pebbles. Yeah. Gotta go deliver meat to the children, I guess. 
And then I think the only thing we... Well, besides finding that priest that I have no idea where he's at. E? <laughs> Yeah, the only other thing I need to do is uh, get some tranquilizers for that other guy. Or make something other than that Lazarus potion. I don't know. Oh, whoop. Going a little bit quick here. Hey, you go. There you are. Hey, I got you all the meat that you need. Yeah, the custodians is obnoxious. The custodian Sebastian is really obnoxious. Yeah, he threw me in jail. Unpleasant, but in his own way. I don't know. You can't be serious. What's that supposed to mean? At least he was here, unlike you, the whole time. He threw me in jail. Take <laughs> care. What kind of excuse is that? <laughs> Uh, okay, and now you're not speaking. I brought you some meat. Let's see. I brought all this dried meat, this hair meat, this horse meat, mutton, pork, all the smoked sausage, and uh, five salamis even. Look at that. Thank you, Henry. Rich food will definitely help. Yeah, all right. Tell me more about the situation. So what? Right. Take care. The only thing I have left to do is pretty much fix this guy's insomnia. Oh, I guess I diagnosed those guys too. They just need to sleep it off as well. <laughs> Everybody just needs to sleep off their pain. That guy had a broken back. I gave him some purple herbs. Now, hopefully they're the right ones. Then come back in a couple days. It's been, yeah, I can't, it's been a couple. Well, it's been a day. Can't believe that that excuse though. At least the custodian was here the whole time, and unlike you, it's like yeah, you'd seen him throw me in jail right in front of you. <laughs> There's a reason why I wasn't here all day. <laughs> uh, also, it's, yeah, you're, I got that message, Ryzen. <laughs> nice to see that you could make it to the stream too. Let's see, all right. Um, I believe that there was something else around here. Just some question marks. I'm not sure if there's actually like an activity or anything. Oh, it's on the other, the other end of this workshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having trouble with your keyboard, Bryson? <laughs> Discovered a butcher. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Got pens here. Oh, is that the thing that I... Oh, okay. The activity's out here. So, yeah, that's just a butcher in here. Hmm. I can pick some of this, but not all of it. I can't pick the cabbages. Come on. Cabbages should be free for everyone. I might need them. Got hey, farmhand. Do you want something? Yeah, <laughs> you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... Honest? All right. What's it about? I'm... Oh, whoops. Skip through that. Lucky for you that I happened along. Who do you want me to rob? Oh, I gotta rob somebody? Who lives in the craftsman's yard. He made a killing supplying vegetables to the monastery. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out <laughs> yeah, and okay. paid me for my labor. I'd like you to steal the grosh and he owes me. And also, a pouch containing an amulet he got from the herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone, so when he realizes he's lost it, he'll have a fit. Sounds easy enough. Okay, so robbing people then. Green eyed monster. Okay. Um. Yeah, I do actually have to go back to the custodian and talk to him. 
Uh, all right. I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> Still not on good terms with him. Oh, he's been a jerk this entire time. He charged me extra money to help poor people. And then he threw me in jail. Said he didn't care if I came back dead or not. Maybe that's why he got angry. He was expecting me to die and I didn't. <laughs> I can see how that can make him upset. <laughs> yep, still not dead. Still can't die to weaklings like them. <laughs> Then the other time I was here, I got yelled at the priest for not gardening his garden the way he wanted it done. And he didn't even pay me or anything. And I did, like, a decent job at least. Not the best job, but decent. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, it's you. Hey, I got a bone for you. Yeah, check out this. I have a bone for you from the remains of St. Procopius. Yeah. Really? Then show it to me. Behold. I bought it off a charlatan in town. Ah, is it really from St. Procopius? From a guy named Sir... Uh, of course. Of course. I'd never try to deceive you that way. Exactly. You're right. My God, you're right. Such holiness. Yeah. I'm in your debt, Henry. How can I repay you? Go punch the <laughs> custodian in the face. Thanks, but I don't no, want anything. I don't want anything. I just want a friend on my side here. Really? Well, thank you. My pleasure. Yes. And Henry. Uh -huh. Yes. I just wanted to touch it for luck. If you took something you shouldn't have, I expect you'll put it back. I'll be with you. Yeah, absolutely. All right, now we're gonna do that. Let's see. Wait, why is this door locked? <laughs> it's it's the middle of the day, dude. Open up. Hang on, Urban. I have, whoops, what the heck? Where did Henry go? And right, I have work to do here. All right, now. Why are you locked away in your office? Wait, this isn't even your office. Where is it? Where did I go? <laughs> oh, there you are. Hey. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of interest in you. Oh, yes. There is. Yeah, I got proof. Uh, there we are. And then he pays One me 1925. Yeah. Your reward. Some woodcutters reported there's an encampment across the I see. Yeah, sure. I have some uh, I also got a bunch of ears. Sure. Farewell. Yeah, those scoundrels deserved it. Henry didn't. He didn't deserve to go to the prison dungeon. Get that custodian. <laughs> no, he's giving me work right now. It's just... <laughs> I think I'm doing... I, it would probably make more sense if I had just went here first and talked to people other than the other way around. Um, we don't need we don't need fat profits because that one's just gonna be a repeatable one. Service my lady, playing with the devil, tough love. Oh yeah, we should probably do that one too. That one seems important as well. All right, now where is this next abandoned encampment? Tell the custodian he needs to mop the floors. Yeah, exactly. Don't mop the floors, custodian. I don't know how much power you got from being a custodian, but... It seems like a pretty good amount. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's go and rest in town first. Try to get rid of this stupid jail hangover that I got. And then... Then we'll go kill some more bandits. Yeah, I think that's funny. Throw him in jail, but give him $2,000, too. <laughs> he needs it to eat in there. <laughs> Tell him you'll make him a sandwich, a knuckle sandwich. 
Yes, I've beaten people up over for less than this custodian. What are you doing? <laughs> the monk there was kind of moonwalking for a second. Uh... Alright. Oh, I still have... Do I have supplies? I think I do from those other bandits. Hey! You're poor. Dang it. Alright, well, I could sell you some spurs. Yeah, the golden spurs are worth twice the amount that he has. And that's heavily discounted. <laughs> Alright. I think there is an armor smith in town. I think he'll have more money. You mean Jim Bob the Monk? Yeah, it was Brother Something or another. I didn't really read his name. Good old moonwalking monk, though. I'm getting confused. Which direction am I going? Going the wrong direction. That's which direction I'm going. All right. I have my bearings now. Hey, Pebbles? Is that you? It is. Hey, Pebbles. <laughs> How are you, buddy? Let's go up and around and get back to our little lodge. Wait, they're making... This is probably for, uh, for wine, huh? All the grapes. Oh, and they have a lot of them. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense because the tavern's right over here. Let me just ride my horse through your fields. Oh, there's a nest there, too. Okay. All right, wait out of here, Pebbles. I will be back in the morning. Need to figure out where my room is, though, in this one. Uh, oh, it's actually just right here? Really? <laughs> just out in the... Is that... No, I think it's upstairs, huh? That seems, that seems a little bit weird for me to have the bed on the first floor with everybody still in there. Yeah, it's up here. All right. <laughs> it's Jim Bob. <laughs> um, can't sleep for more than 12 hours. All right. Sleep for seven hours in the middle of the day until almost night. <laughs> All right, settle down there, Bryson. <laughs> All right. Well, I slept off half my gel hangover. I still got half of it left. Yori. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it, Bryson. Um, you have something to tell me though too. What is it? Are there any problems around here? I might be able to. Definitely not. <laughs> Are you Are sure? Definitely. All right. Guess there's no problems around here then. It's according to this guy. All right, up to the bandits then. See if we get mugged in the woods somewhere. Oh, we might. Oh, there's a skirmish going on. Let's watch the battle. Let's see what's going on. Hot <laughs> oh, dang it, sorry. <laughs> dang Samsung keyboard. <laughs> Never types what you want it to. All right. Oh, wow, there was a skirmish out here, wasn't there? Last chance to fuck off, cunts! <laughs> well, I never. Those are fighting words. Wait, is it all those guys against that one dude? I think so. 
Maybe? No, okay. There's, there's a couple of them. Alright, this is a bandit. Hang on. I shall join in the fight. Nope, and I'll get hit in the face immediately. But then I'll beat him in the face with a mace. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have a friend hitting me in the back. Oh, and he's got a pull arm. That's not good. Yeah, it's better if he's dead. <laughs> I'll take a few sword strikes for that. Ah, come on. Henry, make contact. There we go. No, oh, he tried to surrender there. He realized he messed up. Oh, it was humans and bandits fighting? Wait, I thought I seen guards though too. Where did they run off to? Yeah, open up my helmet so I can actually see stuff. Hmm. All right, well, whatever. Hello, dear. How's it going? Still not technically allowed to hunt you. What do you have? What is this? I'm not familiar with this. Oh, okay, it's like a bill hook. Okay, gotcha. just has a strange name that's all oh there's an Italian bill looks kind of like a glaive though but all right um take his money take his alcohol and yeah that's it doesn't have anything else hey, he had a falchion I haven't seen a lot of falchions somebody yell no that was that deer huh yeah, there's those deer down there. All right, yeah, that's like some sort of bill hook or something along those lines. I don't know how to say that name. Okay, um, hmm, spiked war hammer, interesting. What about this guy, bacon. He had some bacon and some money and a sausage and a war hammer. All right. And a saber. I kind of wanted to kill that other bandit though. He had some good armor on him. I have no idea where he wandered off to. I seen him running this way into the woods. There's something else over here in the woods besides deer. More deer. Hmm. Okay. Rabbits. Hmm. Oh, there's that guy. I found him. <laughs> Double sad face. Hey, how's it going? You want to fight? Yeah, why are you so Scottish? We're in Bohemia. What the? <laughs> I got inside his mask for a second. There we go. How do we have to mercy kill him? All right, Henry, put him out of his misery. <laughs> That's exactly what I was hoping you'd do, Henry. Let's see, yep, heavy war hammer and common shield. Any? That's a pretty good loadout. All right. Yep, he had some silver spurs and some. Actual armor. So if we need some extra cash, which we don't, but if we do, we have it. And put these on pebbles. Pebbles can hold them for us. Hmm. Alright. That accent threw me off for a second. <laughs> yeah, really. I guess they were just kind of going with whatever is... Oh, that's what... This, okay, this is a dead guy out here. I guess they were just going with, like, general English-ish accents. Scottish, Irish, heavy English. Yeah, that's the guard. Guard's dead. Huh. Why does he have Cuban spurs on? That's suspicious. 
He doesn't really have anything else, though. What was he trying to use? I don't see his weapon around here. Could have fallen into this bush, though, or he might have slid down somewhere. Alright, well, whatever. Pebbles. Thank you. Alright. Yeah. Off to fight more bandits then. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do I have to cross a river? Or did I already cross the river? Well, we're gonna find out in just a little bit. Oh, pebbles. Hmm. Oh, yep, uh, we do need to cross a river. <laughs> I have just found that river. Now, where do I cross it at? Oh man, I just have to get right over to here. Uh, but dang, I'm gonna have to go up and around and then come back through or down and around and through. I think down is a little bit faster, so I'm gonna try that. Yeah. Oh, wait, what the? There's just a dead guy out here and it says it's an accident. Is it an accident? This actually could be an accident. He had trout on him. Huh. Okay. Yeah. This is one of those ones that actually looks like it might be an accident. It's not like the other one that I found. Like the other one I found there was a guy that was laying face down with like three arrows in his back. I, like on top of a bunch of like burnt animal corpses. It's like, oh, it was probably an accident. It's like, yeah, a whole lot of people just die this way. <laughs> Very common way to die. You're out there burning animal corpses in the middle of the woods and you fall backwards on three arrows and then fall into the hole. <laughs> Alright, let's go... Yeah, this should lead me close to the camp, I think. Oh, hey, what is that? That's some sort of, like, hunting shack or something. Some sort of watchtower. Yeah. You discovered the Sasau Woods. Lucky me. Ah, the bandits are somewhere around here, Pebbles. Let's find them. Oh, well, this is a fairly large area. So we might as well grab some mushrooms while we're right here, I guess. Dogs barking. <laughs> and here's a camp over this. I have ran into different bandit camps that just happen to be near one another. Got me bow and arrow out. Hey. He stopped right as I shot. What have we got here? Yeah, what do you have? Um, you have an arrow in your arm, I think. So if you consider that entertainment, sure. Let's fight. Oh, he did yeah, he took it right Get to the shoulder. Here. <laughs> Bonk to that one on his noggin. Usually that kills people. Ah, Henry, Henry, you got a turd. You call the legend. It's two people attacking me at the same time. They just kind of messed up. 
Get back. Uh, I need a good counter to kill somebody. I don't know who I hit there. Come and get me. Come weak the knees, have you? Yeah, I don't know who I'm hitting anymore. Okay, he's dead. This guy just keeps getting beaten back. Is that all you got? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> poke him in the head. <laughs> All right, just these two then. Ooh, he countered me. Interesting. See, I can't remember. Somebody shot me with an arrow. Yeah, that's the leader right there. Trying to get this other guy to shoot his friends in the back. Okay, leader's dead. You see who I thought the leader was is dead. Yeah, I might have just found the wrong group of bandits though too. That's happened before. Alright. This guy's shooting me in the back is annoying. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. Oh, he gave up. Well, it's just you and me then, dude. Oh. I don't know why there's always just like one guy that can count Not enough. Me. Getting dark and need a torch. Yeah, I'll get a torch out in a second. Actually. Ah, oh, he'll never expect this. See? That was the way to win. Yeah. I think that other guy ran away. I think guy's taking too long at this one. Oh, hey, Pebbles. All right. Yeah, you just got to pull out the torch in the middle of the fight. It throws everybody off. <laughs> you just blind them with it. Let's see, yeah, this guy. No, wait, that's not the same guy. Okay. Um, who else is around here? There we go. <laughs> There's so many mushrooms out here, too. I actually don't know where the camp was now. I don't recall which direction I came from. That might have not been the right camp, though, because I'm pretty sure that was the leader. Oh, here's the camp. Okay. And that didn't say that I killed the leader. Maybe not. This is kind of a big camp. It's actually a pretty big camp for a bandit camp. You're in the wrong place in the wrong time. Am I? Over here! Where oh, is hey. everyone? Where? Everybody's dead, don't worry. Lost your wit. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, you have a garbage weapon. <laughs> I kind of want to do that one combo that I have. Just the main problem is I usually kill somebody when I do it. Like, well, before it gets done, you know. Oh, stay back. <laughs> yeah, we should probably mercy kill him. <laughs> In the most violent way possible. Oh, hey. Maybe you're the leader. You look like you have decent stuff. Oh. Get over here! No, there's... <laughs> Where did this one come from? No, I told you. Stay back. Oh, slaughter. 
Well. <laughs> you tagging your tent there, buddy. No clue where the other guy is. And Henry won't. Now you're fucked. Henry, you gotta. There we go. Yeah. Get away from me. <laughs> the shield does make quite a bit of difference compared to the torch. Block, Henry, block. At the moment, hang on. Let me kill your friend and then we can fight one on one. <laughs> okay, they're, they're all right. There we go. <laughs> Got a little bit out of stamina there. You fucked up there. Yeah, I kind of did, but it's all right. Ow. Fuck it. Don't see all right. Really. I don't speak Latin very well. Hang on. I don't know what that means. Might have been another rude insult. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it caused my head to bleed. I think this is the leader. He's he's a bit too good to be just a normal person. Huh. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> he tried to surrender and then got crumpled up. Oh, wait, no. He got knocked out. There we go. That's what happened. Okay, that makes more sense. All right. Um, let's see. Bandages. I need these. Fix my brain. Started leaking out a little bit there. That wasn't good. And... What does the Lazarus Potion do exactly? Oh wait, it gives me a hundred? Wow. I should really make more of those. <laughs> that gives me full health. That is ridiculous. Alright. Put that over there. Oh, hey, Night Wolf. Hey, just hopping in and out and also having a lot of fun with the stream. Hey, uh, hey, feel free to come and go whenever you like, Night Wolf. I know it's kind of a weird time zone difference for you. I'm going to be streaming this for eh, a bit longer. I'm not sure how long, but playing this today and then doing charity stream tomorrow. Hey, what the? What? Hang on. Wait, what? You caught me in the act of pickpocketing. No! Yeah. Come back here. <laughs> Where is he running to? <laughs> you gonna go get a guard? Uh, that'd be funny. <laughs> you have a lot. A game for charity. I'm gonna be playing Plants for Zombies. For charity. It should be fun. I got last grasp. You will survive an otherwise fatal blow and regenerate 20. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, last grasp then. Yeah, I also have Revenant where I just regenerate health outside of combat. Just pretty nice. I got to move some of this other stuff to my horse though. I'm getting a little bit too much weight. Did you grab any weapons? Oh, I did. That's a problem. I have too much food on me, too. 
mini salamis and smoked sausages and stuff. Can I read this yet? No, I cannot. Still too dumb to read that one. What about this one? Can't read this one either. I'm still too dumb for that. All right. Um, I mean, I guess we could sleep here for the night. That bandit's probably going to come back in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't know why he ran off like that. That was kind of funny. Um, maybe he really didn't know and he just got up and seen everybody dead. That could have been what freaked him out a little bit. Eh, combat again? Where? Who is here to challenge me to combat? Alright, well, I'm gonna keep looting your friends unless you show up. Taking all their goblets and everything that they add on them. Maybe their horse wants to challenge me to combat? I don't know, there should be way more bandits here, right? One, two, three, four, five. There's five beds, six beds, seven, eight. Nine, ten. There should be like ten bandits here. I don't think I killed ten. I know one of them surrendered and gave up. I can't fight when I'm in combat, but I don't know where this combat is coming from. Sounds like wolves. Wait for a werewolf to come out of the woods and attack me. Suddenly it turns into a horror game. <laughs> That's that chest that I keep opening because I keep thinking it should have good stuff in it, but it doesn't. It's nothing. Don't interrupt me. I'm very busy at the moment. I do hear you though. Oh, different hides and a bludgeon. All right, where are you? You're somewhere out over here in the woods. Sir Henry's here. He's here to fight. Make yourself known, bandit. Or don't, because I, <laughs> I don't really care either way. Alright, um... Guess let's go back to the custodian. I don't know where that bandit is. He's... Doesn't matter, he's not the leader anyway, so... We only really need to kill the leader. Find a corpse? Alright, let's scout out a corpse. Corpses are always interesting. Last time it was some peasant woman that beat a guy to death with a mace to steal his money. Wonder if it's gonna be a similar story here. What the... <laughs> corpse just fell over. Oh. Uh, it's cumin's. Awesome. Oh, whoops. I already had my mace out. No, no, not another dog. Don't like it when you guys have dogs. Eh. <laughs> I really don't trust you. Ow. <laughs> yeah, just leave me alone, dog. Leave me alone, dog. Go on me, dog. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're all good now. Alright. <laughs> oh, I knocked him out with that. Whoops, didn't mean to put away the torch. I meant to put away my mace. Uh, all right. I'm still waiting to see a dragon, but for some reason I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Where were you hiding? 
Wait, what? Oh, did I just knock these two out? Did I not actually kill them? That might have been what happened. I don't know why it wouldn't give me the complete mercy kill then. Ow. That one's got to be dead now. All right. Fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that was that was different. I wasn't expecting them to arise from the dead. Uh, hmm. Didn't have a pretzel on him. Don't say I'm not merciful. I left you with your pretzel. Hmm. We had some nice armor and some silver spurs. You also had some nice armor. Oh, and some more silver spurs. Great. Oh, yeah. Sorry, puppy. Shouldn't attack me. Um... really put all that weird stuff that I got like these things from the from the charlatan guy actually at like my house or something <laughs> all right now we're good to go fatality yes exactly <laughs> that would be kind of a lame fatality though in Mortal Kombat you just Pull out a mace and bash somebody three times on the ground. <laughs> you don't even get to see anything. I guess you could have it if you wanted like a, a rated T game for Mortal Kombat. Which kind of defeats the purpose of it, but <laughs> whatever. Alright, um, I'm gonna wait here until morning. Hey, back in the day that would have been very violent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, back in the day it might have been really violent. Look at this, he brutally hit him in the face with a mace three times and killed him. Put my shield back on. Need my torch now. I'm not gonna get arrested for not having it. I think it's funny how like certain things got censored though too. <laughs> back in the day compared to what they are now. Like I remember Mortal Kombat being censored on a couple different systems and then it like, on the one, it's just like you punch them and, like, sweat comes off them, which even seems more disgusting than just blood spraying off of them. <laughs> oh, wait. That's that room I keep trying to break into, but I don't need to. Custodian. I've murdered everyone once again. I've taken care of oh, yes? Here it is. Yes, Very now give me my money. It looks like your job is done. We don't know of any other camps. Oh, so great. Let's hope we'll have some peace for a while. Very well. What are you loitering around here for? You did your job. You got your money. <laughs> some thanks for not going, miss. No, miss. I've thanked you enough with money. <laughs> if you want someone to embrace you and sing your praises, go to the local baths. They know all about that sort of thing. Now be off with you. I still have... I have some. Uh, Let's have okay. Very nice. Good luck to you. All right. You know what? Hang on.
I'm surprised I didn't realize until now this game has very little gore. Yeah, it really doesn't. It has a good amount of blood, but not really gore. Alright. Well, this has been a long time coming. But Henry... Punch him, kick him, do some... You know what? What? Come back here. <laughs> Don't move a finger. Ah, you have to answer. Oh, hey, 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 it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> there wasn't enough going on in this land. I've got to deal with brawls. Yeah. And that's not all, is it? Don't you worry. Whoop. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry. A pile of a thousand dollars? I don't think so. I won't put up with any more of this. What's your game, boy? I'm not gonna swallow. You sure? <laughs> Sorry. I'm sure you're a nice man and all. Just surrender. Just surrender. Where is that custodian now? He must pay. <laughs> custodian. Hey. What? Urban, we're friends. Remember? I gave you that, that crappy bone. Alright, well fine. He doesn't seem to remember that. I'm sorry, Urban, but you need a mace to the face. Bullets! Get it. Had enough of life, have ya? Boy, hell! <laughs> Urban. I don't want to have to do this. <laughs> I kind of wonder. It's all right, Urban. Just take a nap. Let's see. What is my bounty up to now? Gotcha. What? Don't play the in It's jail. Jail for me. Enough. Right. Ah, now they won't do that. All right, I just wanted to punch the custodian a little bit and see what he'd do. <laughs> Apparently, he gets very upset and runs away, proving that Monty Python and the Holy Grail is still the most historically accurate. <laughs> exactly. Wait, why am I here? Oh, I guess I. All right, I guess I was here. All right. Well, that deals with all the interlopers, so there's no more bandit groups just hanging around in places like that. I'm sure they'll respawn. But we've already done all those, which is pretty cool. All right. So that means what what missions do we have then? Help heal the sick in the monastery. I still gotta find that insomniac's sleeping potion. So as soon as I do that, then I have these ones done. Or I have to make it, I'm not sure which. You still have treasure maps? I do still have treasure maps, yes. We could look for treasure maps. I haven't solved most of them. Actually, I've only solved one of them, so... I think there's like 25 in total or something like that. Let's see, um... How can I have you talk? I, well, if you know... That's true. Come and speak. Okay, but... What? Thank you. Let's see, do you have anything to put somebody to sleep? Hmm. No, none of these. I come to stream two. I don't think I have that book. Unless that's the other one that I have in my thing. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Fleas, warts, no. We don't have fleas and warts. Remedies for fleas and warts. That's not it. 
What about this book? Um, I think this is yeah, this is about the plague. Oh, who keeps spitting all over the place too? So what? What are those? <laughs> I think they're supposed to be rabbit legs or something. Kaga. Um. Tell me more. Tell me more about the situation here. All right. Actually, it'd be great if you just told me what I need to fix this guy. Is there any other books just laying around? Hmm. What about this guy? We haven't talked to him in a little while. You saved me. You've no idea what you've done for me. I didn't do that. You did more than anyone else. I'm sorry. I've got no money to repay you. Oh, it's this but guy. I can tell you a secret. Yeah. Now workers like me keep up backbreaking labor day after day. Okay. Oh, okay. So I got more vitality for helping him out. Cool. Hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna look to see if I have anything here that can put somebody to sleep. Strength and warfare, no. Antidote, no. Dude, we went through some of these. Oh, hello again, Max. Welcome back to the stream. Digestion potion. What is this one? No, that's to give you energy. <laughs> that's the opposite of what we need. Miracle delight. No, I have those. It would let me use them. Lazarus potion. Moonshine. Ah, here we go. Um. Hmm. No, I don't think that's what we need either. Calming effect on horses and dogs. No, not that. Believe that. Yeah, okay. Well, we have that, though. Um. Nighthawk. Oh, okay. That gives me night vision. That's not what we need either. Oops. Didn't see what that one was. Poison. We definitely don't want that. Um, instantly numb and capable of moving. Ooh. Does this sound like what it is? Dollmaker potion. Becomes in... <laughs> Instantly becomes numb and capable. That doesn't put you to sleep, though. That just paralyzes you. <laughs> I don't think I need to give him a... a Pinocchio potion. <laughs> uh. I can't. I just can't. Uh, that's poison. Oh, lullaby. This might... Well, wait. Is this poison, too? Whoever cannot lull themselves uh, or needs to make wounded livestock sleep. Oh, yeah, this is actually what we need. Okay, so we need poppy, thistle, and herb paris. Do I have those? I guess I do. Okay, prepare oil. Prepare oil. A handful of poppy, one of the thistle, and one Quiet. herb paris. Drop the poppy into the cauldron and boil it for one turn. Add the thistle and boil it for one turn. Then cool and add the... Okay, so... Alright. That's what we actually need to make. So, which one is oil? Oil, right here. Pour the oil in. I'm assuming this is vegetable oil. I don't really think they had, like... any other kind of oil at this time. Alright, I need to put the... was it poppy in first? Drop the poppy into the cauldron. Yes. Okay, drop the poppy into the cauldron. Okay, poppy's in the cauldron. Liquid's freaking out like usual. It's good. Alright, so drop, drop the poppy in the cauldron and boil it for one turn. Okay, and then add the thistle and boil for one more turn. Leave to cool and then at. Oh, okay. I see. 
All right, so turn this over. And then we go that. All right, now it's boiling. All right. I think they had grapeseed oil. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I imagine they'd have like that and like some maybe like tree oils too or seed oils of some kind. <laughs> I don't think they had like, you know, like crude oil. <laughs> All right, so then add thistle and boil for one more time. All right, thistle. That in the cauldron. All right, then we boil once more. Hang on, it's not, there we go. Now it's boiling. Turn the timer. Make sure it's boiling. Okay. And then leave until it cools down all the way. And then we add in the herb Paris. Okay. I can't sleep again. Shut up. I'll bring you a thing real quick, dude. <laughs> Alright, it's cooled down. Now we add the herb Paris to it. Alright, and then, uh. No, no, wait, that's not what I meant. I meant to grab this. Whoops. Hopefully that. This will complete a potion. Is that what it said? Pretty sure it did. You brewed lullaby potion. Awesome. All right. I actually like alchemy now that I know how to do it. <laughs> Walnut oil. Walnut oil was commonly used in the medieval Europe, but only as painting medium and to finish on wooden items. Oh, okay. I think uh, linseed oil was the same way. Found that information on the internet, so have to be true. Yeah, exactly. I've got something for you. Really? Drink this, and you'll fall straight to sleep. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Good luck, man. All right, Yonk. I did everything. I fixed everybody's problems. Tell me more. Right. All right. That's it. How are the sick and wounded faring? There's nothing more I can do. I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. I know. And you helped the best you could. I fixed everybody's problems. All we can do now is pray for the souls of the departed. God be with you. Yeah, I guess, but hey. I fixed that guy's leg, I fixed that guy's insomnia, fixed that guy's back. Got thrown in jail for helping everybody. <laughs> uh got yelled at for not gardening correctly. All right, well, does that quest? Then we got tough love. We should probably go do that one. And we should probably do the friend in a friend indeed, because I think this is just going and talking to these guys over here. Wait, I can't run because I'm overloaded? What am I overloaded with? Apparently just random stuff. Alright. Not with armor or weapons, anything in particular like that. Alright. Let's go get paid then. Because this was just finding these two guys jobs. And then they were going to pay us a week after. But we've been kind of wandering off and doing other things.
I don't think I've done any other missions here either. Well, maybe this is where I found Timmy. Or somewhere around here is where we found Timmy. <laughs> Timmy who morphed with my horse the other time. That was a little bit weird. But hey, these things happen sometimes, I guess. Ah, Fritz and Matthew. Hey, how are you guys doing? Jesus, what have you been up to? Uh, not too much. Are you happy here? It's not worth a damn. If I had any choice, you wouldn't see my heels for dust. Yeah. <laughs> Did you two get yourselves into trouble? The fine friend you are, assuming it's our own bloody fault. Oh, come on. You know what you two are like. I had to ask. Well, perhaps with that mug. But now, the foreman's got it in for us. If he could, he'd skin us alive. Oh, okay. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't <laughs> be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. Yeah. <laughs> And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouth bastard more than us. Oh, he okay. For a pair of parasites. I see. <laughs> What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. And you definitely don't. You don't ever provoke him. <laughs> I've already told you once. He's an asshole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? But that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going and he starts yelling too and... Yeah. Hmm. I'd never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job here as a hand and you... And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprise. The last time he did anything, he always mm. took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So, <laughs> he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye. <laughs> yeah, Nimoy. Away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. And what do you want <laughs> to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here, at least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill, but not with him around. It's unbearable, and there's no one I can complain to. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? Yeah, they sure. once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Yeah, but sure. Making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas <laughs> you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So. Fine. Yeah, sure. I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. Goodbye. Alright. So talk to... Well, I guess I can talk to Fritz too. Hey Fritz, how's hey, it going? How'd you get so fucked up? <laughs> yeah, I was in a fight with like six guys. The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Yow. Yeah, alright. If you say so. Matthew told me your foreman's a fool, and you're not exactly filled with Christian love for him. You better <laughs> believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything, and drown him in the river. <laughs> okay, I don't think you need to go that far. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the, uh, first, or the second day in. But we had a disagreement, and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting, and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. But how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd be pretty fucking angry too. Exactly. Yeah. I don't give a shit about anything around here. But that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. Yeah. Uh, okay. What about the others at the mill? The miller's an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass. And kind with it. But what can she do? Nothing. Not that he stops Matthew gonna see her. But Thomas is the root of the Do you think he's jealous? Is she? 
You aren't my puppy dog eyes, eh? But most of the time he just struts about like a peacock. Uh, all right. And what do you want to do about it? No fucking chance. So how do you plan? And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. All right. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. Is that? So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. What? We could lure him off someplace far away <laughs> and wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think. Okay. But you can train me. Oh, fist fighting. I want to get back. Certainly. I'd like to practice. Oh, why? Yeah, yeah, sure. Get my unarmed up a bit. Why not? Gotta get my unarmed up so I can go punch this guy. All right, you must be Thomas, the old idiot. I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. Provoke. See, how are the carpenters? The work if, I brought you? if I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them, and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? <laughs> they can't manage the work anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. Mm -hmm. But you need the help anyway. And they're pretty handy. Maybe. But they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for the mill. And I saw them eyeing up Jane. Nothing strange about that. She's a pretty girl. And she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. Mm. They'd have their way with her, then before her belly started to grow, they'd have run for the hills. Look, we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have peace to do their work, they'll be able to finish it faster. But... Yeah, <laughs> but nothing. And they'll take their groschen and leave. The mines will open again, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And... Leave Jane alone in the meantime. Actually, no, they've had enough now of you. I think about it, probably not. You've been a pest for a long time now, and they'll want to pay you back for it. Then why the hell did you start talking about it? <laughs> you were just wasting my time. It's not kind like of. you do anything anyway. Apart from sitting around yelling at the men actually doing the work. Listen, I was being pretty reasonable, but now you're on thin ice. If you want to fight, just say so. Well, we need to pick a place for the fight that isn't too public. That's one thing we can agree about. Do you have any idea where we could do it? There's a place <laughs> <to> the north <laughs> of Again. We can go to I think it's funny that everybody just... We won't be seen there and... It's like, yeah, I'll fight a guy in full <laughs> armor. <laughs> Above Lodechko, then, at dusk. Fine. And who will I be giving a pacing to? Uh, take your pick. There'll be three of us, and you can bring two of your friends as well. So there'll be more than enough to go around. Why not? Do we have a deal then? No trying to get out of it later on. Yeah, Agreed. sure. Farewell. Yeah, all right. Well, we got to go get into a fist fight with this guy later at night. Hey, guys, I arranged a fist fight for us. Hey, how'd you get so <laughs> Again? I told you. I arranged I a did. fight. I arranged to fight him just like you wanted. He had nothing against the idea. He'll bring two men, and the three of them will wait for us on the hill near Ledechko. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was too much of a coward. So, how are we going to do it? Should we just meet there? No. Come and see me towards evening, and then we'll go. Oh, and perhaps you should let Matthew know. Since you were the one who set it up. <laughs> Of course. Uh, hey, Matthew. Uh, we're gonna get into a fight later tonight, okay? Jesus, what are you being? Well, I spoke with him. How did it go? Did you come to an agreement? Yeah. No. There's no talking to him. What will we do now? I suppose we could just leave, but I don't want to as long as there's some coin to be earned here. Uh -huh. Don't go running off just yet. Shit. You want to trounce him, don't you? Yeah. We've arranged a fight to decide things. If we win, he'll leave you alone. We lose, you'll be on your way. Sakura. Well, I suppose we've got no other choice. There's no talking to that man. 
<laughs> I find it hard to believe he'll just leave us alone, even if we do win. It will be us three against them three. That's an honourable fight, and the better men will win. If you say so. And if they bring weapons, I will kill all of them. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let's see. Uh, let's do it. Come in the evening, fine. What counts as evening? Does this count as evening? Let's see if it counts as evening then. I would think this would count as evening, right? That's like what, seven o'clock or so. Fritz, you ready to go? Hey. All right, I'm here. So let's go. I'll be with you. All right, let's go. Okay, you gotta, you gotta stop trying to shave the bark off that log. Yeah, put down the, the saw. <laughs> He's bringing it with him. <laughs> He's bringing a weapon to this fight. <laughs> I like you're holding it quite the right way, but okay, Matthew. <laughs> He's not about to lose this one. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Prince is just bumping into everybody. Welcome, Henry. <laughs> I've been with you the whole time, Prince. I feel like you might have taken a few blows to the head too many. Alright, come on, Matthew. Bring this, yeah, bring the saw with you. Make sure you bring that. We're gonna need it. Yeah, watch there just be like a mob of like 20 guys there and we'll have to kill them all. <laughs> Matthew, let's keep going. I'll grab some thistle on the way. Let Matthew catch up a little bit. <laughs> oh, hey, my savage perk is activated now. Great. I don't know if I get bonuses once I've hit the cap on uh, like a skill. Because I know my defense is now maxed out. And I think my strength might be too. It's a tw well, it's 19 plus 1, so that's 20. I think 20 is the max. Means I could either get boar or grave digger by the end. Probably picking boar. Should tell me on. Hmm, maybe not. I think it should tell me which levels it will let me level something up at, but maybe it doesn't if they're main skills. Oh, hello, Wayfair. How are you? Don't mind us. <laughs> hmm. I guess we're going up on top of this hill then. Henry, I'm glad you came. We did say the hill outside of town, didn't we? Yep. Looks like out over here. Alright. Alright. Oh, you actually only did bring three guys. Nice to see such a good turnout. <laughs> the more the merrier, arsehole. You won't think it's so funny in a minute. Are <laughs> you <laughs> sure? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Enough horseshit. I didn't come here for a chat. Just as well. 
You're not much of a conversationalist. Are we going to get on with this anytime soon? <laughs> Let's do it, Dopici! <laughs> Time for fisticuffs, exactly, meat and cheese. Time for fisticuffs. You're not going <laughs> to beat me in a cleanse. Get <laughs> get in that bush. You will now be known as the Bushman. Is that all you've got? Fine, that's getting <laughs> He's got to go the other way around. Oh, here he comes. He's back. Just throw a bunch of jabs at him. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> kind of sucks when it's 2v1, uh. Oh, it even sucks worse when it's 3v1. Yeah, get him. <laughs> that, then. Yeah. It will be enough. He definitely looked like he'd had enough. True. He'll either stop or make life hell on earth for us. So, anything else you need from me? No. Thank you for your help. Yeah, no problem. What are friends for? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot something. Uh, of course. You're right. Here's something on the side, Henry. Ah. Uh, I didn't do it for the money. I did it out of friendship. You can spend the coin on drinks at the tavern. Thanks. You're a real friend. Yeah, you no really problem. Debt, pal. <laughs> yeah. All right, reputation earned. And there's a nest somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, there is. Ah. Oh, fell off the thing. Hang on. Oh no, it's rolling away. Alright. Ooh, a silver ring. See, I didn't need money. I was gonna get money anyway. <laughs> oh, whoops. Didn't mean to pull out the mace either. Oh, well, at least none of them died. That's good. I wasn't sure. They all went down pretty fast. I was punching them in the face with some metal gauntlets. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting that guy to actually fight fair. I figured he would be... You know, he'd bring other people... Try to bring a mob or something or bring a weapon to try to fight us. I mean, good thing he didn't. Head back to Rate because I got that other quest to do. Also, I feel like it should be getting close to the tournament day. I would like to win the tournament one more time and get our last piece of armor from there. Don't want the medieval <laughs> boxing gloves, exactly. <laughs> I would much rather be punched in the face by somebody that had boxing gloves than somebody that had, had gauntlets on. <laughs> uh, that'd be like saying shields are the <laughs> medieval boxing glove. I'd, I'd still much rather be punched in the face by boxing gloves than punched in the face of the shield. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's just funny. Like, how are you supposed to fight somebody like dressed how Henry is now? Like, with, with your bare hands. You can't really punch him because you're just going to hurt yourself more than... More than anything. <laughs> like, the smart idea would just be surrender, but... It doesn't seem like everybody around here is necessarily the smartest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Torches at night. Hang on. I forget about that stupid rule here. God bless you and your good self. Okay. Uh, I gotta get to the other side of town if I want to go to sleep in an actual bed, though. Come along, Pebbles. You'll get everything that you ever wanted to, Pebbles. You just stay by my side. Actually, I haven't I haven't went to a horse place to buy Pebbles new stuff. I probably should. Probably try to find him some new gear. 
Because I've got him like military horse horseshoes, I think. Which were kind of expensive, but I haven't got him a new saddle or anything. I feel like I should do that to you, huh? Pebbles. Get you all the nicest stuff since we've got the money to do it. First off, I'm going to put some of my stuff in here that I'm never going to use. Like the weird things I bought from... I guess I can put my potions in there. Actually, the Lazarus potion I'm keeping. That thing's awesome. Like my powdered unicorn horn. And uh, other weird treasures. That one and old dice, mandrake root, crystal, French altar candle, all of them. Yeah, the bone powder of St. Thomas. All right. Can your horse have armor? I don't know. It There's like spots for it. I'm not sure if it's armor, though, that it's showing me spots for. If it's like, or if it's just for like, um, like how Hans's horse is kind of dressed up where it has like the full... I guess cloak type things over it, so that might be it. I'm not sure if it can actually have armor though. I it'd be awesome if it could. I definitely get pebbles some armor then. <laughs> we could actually go do that. Go to a horse trainer and see if they aren't selling something. See, I think um Want that on there. I think we can actually go over here to... Yeah, Neuhoff has that. The horse trader. wonder how they've been getting on since the massacre. <laughs> yeah, if they got horse armor, I'm definitely getting Pebbles some horse armor. That way he'll be pretty much invincible to everything, too. <laughs> and I think you can buy other horses, too, but I, I've grown attached to Pebbles. He's been such a good horse. Oh, hey, well, it looks like everything else here has kind of gone back to normal. That's probably for the best. Have to worry about that whole uh, slaughtering thing that happened. No, you're not the salesman. Yakov isn't a salesman. Z. Is Yakov, do you sell horses? No, you don't. Who am I talking to then? Okay. Oh, is it you? Zora. See, I'm looking for work. Need a hand with anything around here? I certainly do. After what happened, I don't know where to begin. Throw out everything that's burnt, hire new stable boys. But why bother? There's just no point anymore. Especially since no one will buy from me. Oh, our why best not? Our customer was Sir Divish of Talmberg. He paid handsomely for our horses. But now my husband is... Now he's been murdered. His lordship has stopped buying. Although we still breed excellent steeds. Then why would he stop buying from you? Yeah. I don't know, really. But maybe you could find out. Take our sure. Lord Grey and show him to his lordship. He's a fine steed. A bit of a devil, but fast as the wind. Uh, okay. I'll try. All right. I'll go and ask the Divish. That would be very kind of you, lad. Good luck, then. All right, but hey, wait. I wanted to... What can I trade for? Oh, yes, I can. Yes, this is like clothing for... Like my horse. Oh, we've got a fine saddle with four saddlebags. Noble bridle. 
noble saddle with saddle bags. I'll buy that one. All right, then I need the noble bridle to go along with it. Um, and I guess we can get one of these for the horse too. Why not? Let's see, let's get this one since we kind of got the black and green going on with Henry here. It's three thousand dollars though. Oh, hey, the tourney starts tomorrow, probably. Come on, twenty-eight hundred. For that amount, I can be. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting you to just say okay to that. Need that there, and these ones there. All right. Can I put that on. Yeah, that looks good. Noble bridle. And noble saddlebags. Yes, there we go. I guess we can sell those ones then. Hey, I got some stuff to sell you. Wait, it counted as armor, right? I think it did. Yep. Okay. Yeah, now we got pebbles all decked out. Can you... <laughs> oh, hello again, Max. Yeah, pebbles, look at you. You're looking good. You're looking like a proper knight's horse, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what other kind of horses can I buy? I'd exactly. Like buy I'm glad to hear it. Have you looked them over? Uh, not yet. Then go and have a look in the stable. Goodbye. Don't look. Oh, I actually have to look at the horses. Let's see, inspect horse. So let's see. Pebbles is faster. This one can carry more weight and it has it's more courage. It has more stamina. <laughs> okay. This horse is better than Pebbles in every way. But dang it. And so is this one. Wow, this one can carry a lot, too. And this one's not as courageous as Pebbles and only slightly better at other things. Hmm. I think those are all the horses. Now let's talk to him. Can I buy... Can I have I'm multiple horses? I'm glad to hear it. We're badly in need of... Have you looked them over? I have. The best there are. Is there one in particular? Oh, I can get... Oh, wait, there's a tier 5 one? <laughs> so are you planning to name your new horse Bam Bam? <laughs> Maybe. What about a this one? A wonderful Arab stallion. Heavenly. When you look into those eyes of his, you'd swear he was human. Okay. Maybe some other. What, wait, I have to trade in. I don't want to trade in pebbles. Maybe some other. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so let me actually. I'd like you to. Certainly. Yeah, teach me how to horse ride. I'll I'd pay like you for that. To... All right. Now. There we go. Get the horsemanship up a bit. I don't want to have to trade in pebbles, though. I figured, like. Maybe I could store pebbles here and then go get a different horse, but I mean, me and pebbles have been through a lot so far, so I think I'm just going to keep him. We're going to go into the end with you, huh, pebbles? All right. Now, hopefully, then, hopefully later on in the game, it doesn't have me kill my horse or something. Yeah. Or have my horse die a horrible death. That's what happened to my last horse, Jum. Poor Jum. That sucks too bad you can't collect them all like Pokemon. Exactly. That's kind of what I wanted, like, or at least to where I could have like five or so. Maybe I need to actually have like my own residence or something. I could probably afford to buy a castle right now, you'd think. <laughs> 
buy a castle, put a stable in, buy a bunch of horses. I got the money. Well, yeah. anyway, tournament's tomorrow and we can probably finish out this other quest today and then do the tournament tomorrow. Get the last bit of armor that we need. Oh, discovered another nest. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Starting to get hungry. Do I have food? Yeah, I have some honey. I can eat some honey. <laughs> Probably just throw away all these apples. These mushrooms. This is to find the other girl's family that's left over. We can see if. See what she's up to. Or whatever this family member is up to. He said he was a nice guy with such a polite son. Oop. Yeah. Hey, I'm here. Hello. What do you want? I mean, what do I want? I've got information about your daughter-in-law. <laughs> Elishka's fine, only she needs... Never heard of her. Get lost. Really? She's your nearest kin. Elishka's part of your family, and she really needs your... I won't help anyone. Really? Why not? I could make it worth your while. Really? And what is it you want? Your son's widow needs help. She has nowhere to go. What do I care about some useless girl? <laughs> yeah. Fire could be dangerous. Like that, you must be popular around here. I wonder how quick your neighbors would be to help you if you needed it. I wonder what they'd do if your house should happen to catch fire. What the? Yeah. <laughs> and if you happen by chance to be locked inside. Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Send her here then. But don't let her think she'll be taking it easy. She'll have her work cut out. That sounds quite... And if I hear a peep out of her, I'll take a stick to her back. Fine salvation this is. Yeah, really. All right. Wow, she's mean. Exactly. All right. Cheap but... bloody children. What? <laughs> you just call me a child? <laughs> I'll threaten you the same way I threatened your wife, old man. All right, yeah, tournament. You turn it and rate tomorrow. Okay, so yeah, I gotta go over there. I think it'd be better if he just, if she was just with the executioner, really. He seems way nicer. I mean, he did kill her husband, but he still seems way nicer. <laughs> Sounds like a tough choice to make. I think the older woman and the custodian <laughs> get together exactly. Yeah, they'd, they'd show their love and affection with one another by hitting each other in the face with hammers at night. <laughs> they both seem like awful people. Alright, lady, so I got a choice for you to make. You can either hang out with the executioner, which who seems like a pretty nice dude. I mean, yeah, he killed your husband, but he, he seems kind of to feel bad about that, and you said to yourself your husband was no good, so... Or you can go live with his awful family. It, one of those two choices is yours. I know which one I would pick. <laughs>
Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> Come on, Henry. You can climb this mountain. You can climb any mountain. Just gotta kind of climb it at an angle, that's all. All right, I'm back. Good afternoon. You're not crying now. I'm not. <laughs> I've wept enough for a lifetime. It's a bit of a change since my last visit. I haven't had much luck in my life, but I've always worked things out in the end. Tears are no help to anything. That's true. So did you find out something about them? I did. I found your husband's father and mother, and uh, they're willing to take you in. But? <laughs> they're not all that nice. They're, um, they're not very nice people. Elishka. They probably worked you to the bone, but you would get fed. Life is never easy, but at least I'd have a family. You're right. I'll have another talk with Herman. Take care. Yeah, let's talk to the executioner about this. Again, he still seems like a better person to be with. God, let me wash myself off. I'm filthy. Hey, Executioner Herman. Let me speak with you. She is, but she's not happy. God sent the poor girl great trials. Indeed. Did you know her whole family was wiped out by the plague? She was barely 12. I... Losing your family isn't easy. Ah, sorry, I wasn't thinking. So, <laughs> did you find out anything about that kin of hers? I found them, I but I don't like them. I tracked them down. They say they take her in, but I'm not sure if she'd do well there. Leave that to her. I just hope she'll be better off than now. Hmm. I've heard the way you talk about her, and, um... Would you like Eliska to stay? You know, Hal, she was always the sweetest girl. When she came with her family to retire, still single, she was a sight to behold. And it might surprise you, but she even had a word or two for me now and again. It grieved me when she married that wastrel. It was a foolish idea, but I always thought maybe she and I could... Well, fate likes a good laugh. Now I've strung up her old man. I have her under my roof. After all the years I was thinking of her. I don't want her to leave, but... I don't want her to be unhappy here either. Hmm. You're not making this easy. <laughs> Okay. Have you made your mind up? I can't decide. I don't know Mishik's kin at all, but at least I'd have a family. Yeah, uh, you should stay with the executioner. Family too. He's a decent, upright fellow. I've met none better, and that's the honest truth. But. He's an executioner. But, and what's the problem? <laughs> He's the standing right there now. <laughs> Did that sort of gossip ever interest you anyway? He's a oh, fine boy. man, isn't he? He's willing to take care of you and he has the means to do it. And he wants you. He's so sick with love for you, he can't even sleep. But did he really say that? He told me he's been in love with sure. you for years. He said he always thought you were the sweetest girl in Ratai. That's true. We used to meet now and again and exchange a few words. I. Well, He's you right there yet. Nice <laughs> he wasn't there a second ago. <laughs> You're right. I'll stay here. Good luck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see? You found a new home. Herman? Yes? Could I. Can I stay here with you? You mean for good? If, if, if you don't want me to. Right? You can. By God, you can. Oh. <laughs> See, look, they're happy together. You made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> time to get to cooking and time to get to sitting. All right. Uh, glad I could help you guys. I'll be on my way now. All right, that was that was a bit different. I mean, it turned out nice by the end, but I mean, <laughs> but yeah, just stay with the executioner guy. He's so much nicer. Not the horrible person like everybody else that seems to be in your life. Imagine trying to explain that to your kids, though, later on, assuming they have kids. How did how did mommy and daddy meet? Oh, well, you see, mommy used to be married to this other guy. The daddy killed him. <laughs> you know, justly, though, he, he justly killed him. Took him out back and hung him up on a tree. And then, you know, a knight came by, saved the day and said, hey, you should probably marry the, the executioner dude. He seems way nicer. And that's how they met. <laughs> uh, probably wouldn't really be the weirdest <laughs> together story, but... Wouldn't be the most normal one either. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna eat from your pot real quick, sir. I can't remember if I'm hungry or not. My stomach just kind of comes and goes. Hey, dog. That was funny, though, that he just <laughs> sounds almost like a grim fairy tale. It kind of does. That's what I was thinking, too. I was like, this sounds like a dark fairy tale. Like, And I, I kind of like it. It has a much sweeter ending than most dark fairy tales do. Where's this bathhouse? It's somewhere around here. Oh, it's up the road further. That's right behind me. All right, I want to get my clothes cleaned. They still look grimy. And I need to be fighting in a tournament tomorrow. I want to look my best. Oop. All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what happened to your clothes? Were you assaulted? Uh -huh. Exactly, that's what I came here to get. I wanted my laundry done. Fine. I'm sure you're good luck then. Alright. There we go, we're looking better. I think some of my stuff is still kind of torn up, but... We can go get the tailor to fix our clothes and the armor to knock out any dents in our armor. And we should be good. And some, oh, okay, that's one of the guys that I had go fetch water or something. Kunesh is still over here begging. <laughs> How pathetic. Wait, what the? Oh, okay. There you go. You rendered in finally. That was getting a little bit weird. Hey. Alright, armor. I need my stuff fixed once again. There we go. Actually, I think I have armor on my horse. Yes, I have a couple things. Okay. Let's get some of that money back. <laughs> Better yet, let's have all- <laughs> he has as much wealth as I do. Wow. Alright, well. Uh, 
Let's make it more in our favor then. All right. Uh, I'm overweight by a little bit though. Dang it. And go over here to the armor or the uh, weapon guy. No, I can't because I'm stuck. I hope I can be of. See, looking to trade. Kind of wondering why there isn't like a begging skill in this game since there's so many people to do it. All right. People are still not rendering fully in here. It's making me a little bit concerned. What's the most expensive armor? Um, I think it's the type of stuff that I'm wearing that you can buy. It's just this, but it's not the uh, like gold plated stuff that I have since I got this from winning the tournament. God grant. I think the act actually the most expensive thing is those golden spurs that I have on because they're like twenty or 2,300 for that. I think that's the most expensive single piece of anything. Do I have anything to sell? No. All right. Good luck, man. Talk about repairs. Repair all of my stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure if you, I think there's probably more expensive things that you can get. But, um, I don't know, let's see what the most expensive thing is you can just buy. Let's see, that's 1.9, that's 2.1, 1.2, 3 3.5, so it's probably this brigandine then. Yeah, because another 3.5, this is just in a different color. Oh, well, 3k for the golden spurs, though. 1.7 for the helmets. <laughs> oh, I haven't got that book. Now 1.1 for gloves. 1.9 for boots. More brigandine, that's 2.8. Wait, what was that? 3k one? It was the 1.3 I seen. Yeah, so it looks like brigandine and then full plate armor. Beyond that, wonder if there's rare secret items you can earn. Um, from what I understand, there is. Um, like I know you can get the, uh, an executioner's sword. I'm not sure how you do it, but um, you can get it. And then I think that's like the most heavy slashing weapon in the game, besides uh. Full arms, like the halberd. <laughs> All right, read this book and get some more strength. Strength of Hercules. I think it also depends on uh, your speech skill as to how much things cost and what you can sell them for as well. So that would be a factor. Um. So, yeah, I think that's the most expensive armor, at least the most expensive armor I've seen. Although, like I said, you can just earn all this stuff. Like, I didn't pay for, I think, any of this. I think I either got it from bandits or... It was from winning the tournament. Alright, well, we can go up here and wait for the tournament tomorrow and then partake in it. Wait until the morning, and then we will fight. <laughs> How many rounds are there in the tournament? Um, it's three rounds, best of three. And then it also... You always fight with whichever weapon you picked first as your primary weapon. 
And then if you beat that opponent opponent two out of three times, then you move on to the next round, which is a different opponent, same thing, and then it's the final opponent. And then sometimes that opponent does not like you a tournament winning. That never lacks in suspense, excitement, surprise. Let's save here, make sure I don't screw this up or anything. I now declare the right height. Alright. Greetings. I wish to enroll in the tournament. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. Alright. Yes. Of course. I'll write your name yeah. down. You do have and to pay I 60 bucks to get into the tournament, but then you get to pick whatever weapon you want to start with. So you can pick long sword, short sword and shield, hunting sword and shield, axe and shield, or my war favorite, hammer warhammer and shield. And shield. <laughs> I know how to handle that. Good. Yes, I know how to handle the warhammer and shield quite well. And then it also, the first round is whatever you pick. I think the second round is whatever your opponent picks. And then the third round is... Um, Whatever the, the Lord picks. So. From the company of Sir yeah, Henry. Pavel, call Roebuck from the garrison of Sir Sebastian von Berg. All right, Pavel. The combatants luck. Yes. Who's wishing us luck? All right. Will afford plenty of entertainment. Yeah. The combatants will engage in a duel with warhammers and shields. <laughs> Which really should not be allowed into a tournament. We're supposed to not be trying to kill one another. I think with that uh, headcracker ability, I might just be able to win in one blow too if I hit him in the head. Okay. Oh, poked you. Fuck! You weren't expecting to get stabbed by a hammer, were you? <laughs> oh, he's out of stamina. Take advantage of it. <laughs> yeah, Henry. <laughs> the first guy is always easier than the other two. The other two counter a lot more. Oh, okay. It's hunting sword and shield. Hunting swords. I don't know why these are considered hunting swords. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Probably be looking at my opponent. Alright, well, you know what? I felt bad for last time since he didn't get a single blow in. Oh, where, where did I go? Come on. Take a swing. Get off of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poke your nose. Knock you aside. Oh, we ran out of stamina. <laughs> yeah, Henry. We won the first duel. And we got all, almost unscathed. Better luck next time, Pavel. You gotta keep your guard up, buddy. Alright, now... Who are we fighting this time? Hey, we're both wearing red. If I'm wearing red and orange. Yeah. Oh, well, you're an archery master? You don't seem to have a bow there, though. And this very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. Yeah, plenty of entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh. I was expecting him to strike like that right away. Oh, there we go. Batter him back and then push him in. Well, this is fine. We can keep countering and stuff. Oh. He's going to run out of stamina first. <laughs> yeah, because I'm landing blows on him. Oh. oh. I tried to stab you, but I was too far away. hit me with that one. Oh, that one actually hurt. Well, that's not too surprising. More hammers do hurt if you get hit with them. No, I didn't clench up fast enough. Oh, oh, the same thing again. I can probably go closer to him like that and then just... Oh, maybe not. Come on, try to hit me. There we go. And that's a win. <laughs> uh, that move seems so basic, but it also seems so violent at the same time. Just block and hit him in the face with a war hammer. <laughs> All right, hunting swords and shields again. Yay. My favorite weapon. This one may decide the winner. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. Yay, hunting swords. Oh, All right. There we go, pushing back. Yeah, and then another counter from below. Yeah, all right. You say so. <laughs> oh, he didn't even get to touch me with that one. Henry! Yeah, final round. Final round for Henry. All right. You will be the final foe, sir. Entering the arena now will be Henry of Skullets. From the company of Sarate Kabla. Yep, that's me. And his adversary will be Benish Shoblashim, cut pole to the Sasso Bailiff. Oh. Let us wish the combatants luck. Oh, he's like a guard then. And All this right. very first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. Yeah, the it's always entertaining when I get to beat jewels, people with a hammer. <laughs> It really does seem like you're supposed to pick, like, longsword, you know, as a more knightly weapon. Oh. Struck me before I could strike you. Well done. Oh. Came over top and countered me. What's the matter? Lost your balls. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll just beat you into a corner then. Stay over there. <laughs> Stay over there. <laughs> Yeah, nobody beats me with blunt weapons. 
Bladed weapons, that's kind of a different story. But blunt weapons, that's where I'm best suited at. <laughs> oh, it's Longsword. Awesome. Weapons for the second bout. We will witness a duel with Longswords. Yeah. Okay, we'll win in a knightly fashion then. Oh, <laughs> Oh, well, he actually countered that? I thought he was in the middle of doing something. He's thing. Giving up all that oh. Good deal there. There we go. Smack him on the hands. Smack him again on the hands. Oh, back away from that thrust. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Sorry, I seen that you commented something, Bloxmas, but I didn't get to read it. Come at me. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't do anything there. <laughs> kind of gave him that one. There we go. Push him back that way. <laughs> Get over there. Oh, he ran on top of me. He did it. He did the same thing again. He's doing it again. How do you know? Just, just, just give me a second. There we go. Let me uh, brute force my way through this. I don't remember any of my combos. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, well, maybe it does. Oh, that's not good. Oh, come on. He's just countering me constantly. Cause he's not attacking. Fine. You know what? We know how to beat this. Oh. I can still beat you and just clenches. And put you against the wall. Beat you senseless. <laughs> Since you didn't want to fight in a normal way, sir. Alright, hang on. I gotta get my stamina back. Mm. I kind of want my Warhammer back. Get in that corner, I said. <laughs> oh, I'm in the corner now. Oh. But only for a second. He's going to be back in that corner in one more second. Yeah. Stay in that corner. You know where you belong. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm out of stamina. Do you know? Get it. 
There we go. And we win. Yeah, that guy was kind of annoying. Henry has this. <laughs> Henry has this in the bag. Yeah, okay. Sorry, Blocksmith. Took me a little bit. That guy was being kind of annoying. You have just witnessed the final jewel in today's Ratai Tournay. Yeah. I don't know why I'm not allowed to move anymore. Yeah. Henry. <laughs> Sir Henry wins again. And I think now I get the chest plate, and I think that's all the pieces that I need. I don't... Well, I think there is other parts of it, because I think you can get a shield and a... Like a... Surcoat or whatever the heck they're called that go over the top of your armor. But I think those you can just buy in shop. You did it in the end, Henry. Lord's Lamp. Yeah, I got now Arena well Master. Satisfied. Awesome. And I'm sure you'll be. I certainly am, my lord. Thank you, sir. Take care. Let's see. Now I got the Lord of Lepia armor. That's even stronger than my armor. Great. Yeah, that was even better than my Dark Brigandine. Yeah, that is my. There we go. There's my armor. My arms haven't came in. All right. Yeah, that looks good. The jacket kind of gets swallowed up by it, but there we go. <laughs> All right, now we're completely decked out from all the armor from there. Great. I think this is some of the best armor in the game, too. I think there might be, like, one or two really unique things that's better than it, but I kind of like that, that it's something you really have to earn to get the best armor, not just buy. I don't really like it when games do that. It's just, oh, here's the best gear. You just have to buy it from somebody. Take the stallion now. Let's see, what other quests? Um, I guess we go answer questions and answers then. Can I fast trouble there? Be able to, right? This isn't the map though. New armor looks really good. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I really like the way the armor looks in this game. All right, let's go look for some answers. Oh, wow, the tournament took all day, didn't it? Because I got there at 8 a.m. and now it's 6, 7 p.m. Wow. Yeah, I also found out something else about this armor because it does give me the bonus charisma. Uh, because it looks shiny and everything, that actually gives you negative stealth. <laughs> as well as it just being kind of like the, you know, full plate armor, it's kind of heavy. So, it, it's really bad for trying to stealth around. You cannot be sneaky in this armor. <laughs> oh, it's an ambush? Defend myself. You dare ambush the lord of the arena, Sir Henry. I don't think this is a bandit. I think this is just some drunkard. Where are... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's some drunkard. <laughs> Why did you think that was a good idea? <laughs> you picked a fight with this guy of all people. With just... I mean... With just a butcher's blade. Oh, dandelion's in your body, though. You have anything else in you? You don't even have a full dollar on you. Now, he does have a lot of moonshine on him, though. That might have caused this. And a lot of wine and everything else. So he might have just been super drunk. Maybe I should have just not hit him with the maze. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's put that away and tip that helmet up. All right, now. Where is it that I'm going? All right. <laughs> Some people. When the angry peasants attack, just one of them. <laughs> you got to him, give him credit for that, though. He came alone. <laughs> All 
I have been beaten by a bunch of peasants, but it was like 12 of them and they had pole arms, so <laughs> that made a bit more sense. I don't think I've ever been beaten by just one guy with a with a sword like that. <laughs> Has no armor or anything. Alright, um... Can't do anything here probably in night. Well, maybe we can. Talk to this guy. Watchman! I'm honored that a knight... I'm here to talk to the captain. captive. Sorry, no one's allowed inside. Melikar's orders. I'm Sir Ragnar, Ragnar's envoy. envoy. And I urgently need to question the captive. Yes. I don't care if you're the Pope's envoy. I can't let you in. If you want to talk to the captive, you have... God be with you. Yeah, okay. Who is that? <laughs> I don't know who that is. Other guard, can you tell me who that man is? No. This is somebody's house. What is going Why on here? This Why? Guess somebody died. Okay. Hmm. I should probably just wait until the morning. Nourishment's gonna... Nourishment's gonna hate me for that. Wait, what is going on over here? What's on fire? There's just a burning pile of animal corpses over here? Is that normal? <laughs> I have a feeling that's not or shouldn't be normal. I'm gonna eat my honey and then wait till the morning. <laughs> Maybe they'll let me in there then. Let Detective Henry actually have a case. There we go. Alright, grab some marigolds, why not? And some eye blades. Alright. Then we can actually start questioning people. Hey, where is this captive? Villager, tell me. God, what happened? Horror of horrors, master. We were attacked by some bandits, and then the plague broke out. Wait, the plague broke Jesus out? Christ. That's not good. That's right. The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. Um, okay. Who attacked These you? Bandits, who were they? Some thieving rabble. What do I know? Maybe those damned cumans, but they spoke Czech. Ask the captive at the Melikars. Okay. Did you put How up a fight? to fight them off? Well, we were lucky. Young Straw saw the gang a little way out of the village and ran to warn old Melikar. If it wasn't for that, none of us would be here. It looks mm. like you fended them off, though. I can't see any burned houses. They had no time for that, but they've left us with fresh graves. Young Straw himself got to cut up something terrible and a few others. We've a number of wounded, and now the plague to crown it all. Christ prison. Uh, all right. Melikar. Who are they? Straw. Those names are new to me. They're locals. Melikar's been in charge here since old vassal Smil from Neuhof passed away. Oh yeah, Smil. Grant him eternal peace. And Straw, that's the local woodsman. Poor mm. fellow. The bandits killed his son, and his wife has the disease. Oh, that's not good. Where will I find Melikar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. Okay. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw. Okay, tell me about the plague. And the disease? Tell me something about it. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. Makes me shudder to think there's not much to tell anyway. Hmm. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died, then livestock, and now it's people. Like Malikar's wife, poor thing. Okay, where's Matthias, I'm looking though? looking for Matthias. 
I think he works at the stud here. Matthias, Matthias. Wait, I know. He's not been here long, isn't that right? Not long, it's true. Well, those bastards got him. He's laid up at the stud now. His arm's in a bad way. But at least he's still alive. Thank you. Okay, then. Thank you. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Okay, Henry. I don't think we have any more food. No, we got booze. Does booze give us food? Uh, actually, it does. Alright, time to get drunk, then. Hey. Matthias, where are you? I'm gonna wander around aimlessly until I find someone. I went in here the other time and he was dying in that room. Hey, you. Villager, wake up. Did you sleep? What about you? Straw. Straw. I found him, but it won't let me talk to him. Why not? Hey, Straw, how's it going? You look a little bit shook up. <laughs> like you just seen something awful. All right. Might have to talk to the other guy first. But I don't know where he is. He's out here banging on something. Good morning. What? Horror. Jesus. That's right. Can I? No. Thank you. Goodbye. Can't get anything new out of you. Go. Go away. Leave me alone. Okay. What about this guy over here. Not allowed inside. If you. I'm honored that an. What's happened? A play. Indeed. See, I heard something heard about a camp. Bandits didn't get very far. Luckily, young Straw saw them still over by the cross. Okay, we've already Who? I... Did we... We... We've already talked some... to somebody about I... all this. What if? I'd like. Tell... Thanks. Take care now. Milahar, Milkar, however you say your name. Where are you? Oh, and he might be this other shield. Wait, what? Oh, okay, he's not dead. <laughs> I was like... Al? You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. <laughs> yeah, just look at my armor. His envoy? Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbors have been reduced to begging. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Damn. Yeah, the plague. Hey, how are you? Sure. Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm's badly broken, but better than a broken neck. Yeah, I guess so. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? Uh, I hear I you have a captured one. Captured one. Was Bye, old Melikar. Let him have it over the head with a flail. Go. Now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. What's that? That fucker killed young Straw and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still... His straw's not dead! Uh, unless Straw's a different one. It might be young Straw and... I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Malachar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. First the raid and now this plague. God. Can you describe the raiders? 
Yeah, what'd they look like? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked Ooh. to them. No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikov, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? All right. You mounted an assault against them. Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it. But even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. Hey, hey, why? Why's that? He still I captured one. I understand old straw wants revenge. Good luck then. All right, uh, sickness. About this sickness. When did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. Mm. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Is there any yeah. joy from it? Aye, old Verba. Although he was already on his last leg, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies and... Hmm, who's sick? Now? I don't know. What well, with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Hmm. All right. Can I ask you a bit? I have a... Can you tell me something about old straw? He's a woodcutter. Tough as okay, so there's an old the straw and a young straw. Okay, that makes sense. Mind since his boy died. Well, it's normal to grieve, eh? Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? Well, we've already found him, when but... When you take the main gate out... Yeah, okay. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was... Oh, no. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Malachar. Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. What's Malachar? The oh, no. Oh, wait, I already... Thank... Okay. Where does Malachar... When you take the main gate... All right. It was nice talking with you. Yeah, lay down like a corpse now. <laughs> Well, we got more speech, so we can get trustworthy middleman. Is that one? Oh, yeah. Merchants will be willing to buy stolen goods. Um. Okay. I guess this one. This one seems pretty good. Okay, Melikar, where are you? I don't understand which one's the main gates and two houses down. I'll just search every house. This is Straw's house and he's... Is it? No, this is the... I don't know what this is. Oh, they probably have the X on the door to warn about sickness, huh? Oh, still can't talk to you for some reason. This village is not that big, though. I should be able to find him pretty easily. Maybe this house? Daniel. No, not Daniel. I don't need to talk with Daniel. That's passing. What? This is a shop? Okay. Oh, here he is. He's just wandering around town. 
Okay, that's me. Okay. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. Yes. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradzig won't help us with that any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. Mm -hmm. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Saradzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Sure, why not? There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yeah, I've talked yes, to him. I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think. Her yep, I know her too. She might know someone to turn to if she's actually there. She is. Very well. I'll go to the. Mon Thank you, at least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoners got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If oh, I have to okay. go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Oh, okay. A word with your honk at the monastery. Investigate the plague symptoms. Hey, Daniel. Brother. Dearest brother. Um. Uh, yeah, yes, sure, I'm your brother. I found this nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fire. Um. Tell me, brother. How are you feeling? Wait. You're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother. Lock the door. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me. I'm the, your brother. I was gone for a long <laughs> yes, time. Yes, I'm your brother. Go on. Come back home for Advent, remember? Yes. Uh, yes. I remember. Give me a drink of water, brother. Oh, I'm thirsty. Terribly thirsty. I feel like I'm burning in hell. <laughs> I can drink a pitcher of water and right away I'm parched again. May the Lord watch over you. Okay. Shit. I've had enough. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there and talk to that guy. Oh, I'm hungry again. That wine's not holding me over then. <laughs> Hang on, I think I have another thing of wine. Oh, my inventory, my food. Oh, we got some fine wine. There we go. Let's see where we're we? What's going on? Is this the cutscene? Might be. You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw, you've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife, you bastard. Yeah. <laughs> I've come to help your wife. Yes, I have. To help her over to the other side. Isn't that God's own truth? I don't have time to explain everything to you. I need to... So you no, that didn't work. Time. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Is this really the best time to fight? Your wife is dying. Your kid just died. You want to get beat up too? Probably not a good thing. Probably should have just intimidated him. Alright. Straw! Come here. I'm going to keep kicking you in the head until you get it through your fat head. Yeah. Help! Arrest that thief! Wait, arrest it. I was looking for clues. Guard, come here quick! There's yeah. a thief over there! You there! I see a Stop. thief! Settle Guard, down. <laughs> I just wanted to loot his body for 
blues. This definitely won't come cheap. Uh, I won't put up with any more of this. But I was just. Uh, you yeah, get out of here. Hey, guard. You. Now talk. Talk, straw, talk. Leave me be. Leave me be, all of you. Don't speak to me. Leave me be. <laughs> okay, well, that was kind of pointless. <laughs> Beat up a guy for nothing. Fever. Just like Melechar's wife. Hmm. Fever. Just like Melechar's wife. Alright, so fever, delusions. Don't speak to me. Yeah, <laughs> guy who's not too happy that I beat him up. Alright. Let's see. Anything else around here? Yeah, it looks like there's somebody dying in here. I can probably talk to them. Hey, buddy. Vincent. Jesus, lad, what are you doing here? Can't you see the play cross on the door? Yeah, I saw it. I'm here because of it. The monastery sent me to help. God bless you, boy. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Yes, tell me everything. Oh, I see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. I recall almost nothing of yesterday. I was raving for most of it. Is there anything else? Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely worn out. My wife's the same. Mm, you have all right. my thanks. I'll try to bring help. Wait a minute, will you? I have one favor to ask. So tell me. I need to write my will. Can you write? Uh, yes I can. I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, son of Vincent, grandson of Vincent of Mehoyed, <laughs> do bequeath my estate and all my worldly goods to my wife Wilma. If my wife were to pass away with me, Mm-hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh. At this time, the cobbler in Yanovitz. In no event shall my prodigal son, Elia, the layabout and good-for-nothing, inherit a single groschen. All customs and traditions aside. Um, should I write that too? Yes. And then write, The executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian. Presently, the parish priest at the Church of St. Martin in Sasso. Uh, yes. all right. This will was written down by... What is your name? Henry. Presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here, take my ring so Fabian will know it to be truly from me. You can never be sure nowadays. Okay. What did your son your do? son, Elijah. What did he do to you? Christ almighty. Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? Everything. <laughs> Everything? He was to be married. And instead he ransacked the house and ran off. The little fucker. <laughs> Last we heard he was some jackhand in Sasso. Boozing, playing dice, lying and cheating for a living. Such a disgrace. Okay. Where can I... Well, where do you think? All right. Yes. Go now. Alright, well we got another quest to do then. Um anybody dying in here? No, but I am technically trespassing again. Oh boy, alright. Um We've been in that house, we were in Straw's house. Still gotta be a couple more houses to look and see if anybody's there, like this one. Oh, this isn't a house, this is just a storage shed. Okay. Don't speak to me. 
Yeah, this is still Straw's house. Hmm. Fever. Yeah, fever. Just like Melchard's wife. Definitely fever. They've got the fever, Yonka. I seen it with my own two eyes. They have it. Who are you? Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? I'm here my to name help. Is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Anthony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes. yes. I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Malikar said the dead should be buried at once. Uh, okay. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. We have to bury him at the back of the house. There's a lovely linden tree there. I understand. Oh. I'll dig the grave there. Thank you. When you're ready, come back. I'll say goodbye for now. <laughs> All right. Well, at least I have a shovel. That's useful. All right. Dig a grave under the linden tree. Uh, this seems familiar. Not like this brings back bad memories or anything. All right. All right. The deed is done. It's done. <laughs> it only took a few seconds. <laughs> now, please take him there. Yeah, all right. Come here. Go that way? Alright. I was just gonna chuck his body over the fence and then... You know, call it a day, but <laughs> this is probably better. Alright. Bury him there. Will you All please right. tell me about his illness? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like it had been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. He must have hurt terribly. Thank you. Hmm. All right. Investigate the plague. All right. Well, we've done that. Now we need to go travel to Yohanka then. Okay. Because in the monastery. There we go. And we also have to do the last will and testament for that other guy. <laughs> Yohanka, I need your help once again. Just don't get mad at me for getting thrown in jail again. <laughs> I still don't know why she's mute. to know what Fritz and Matthew did here. Don't even talk to me about that. Yeah. <sighs> they weren't badly injured compared to most of the others, so they started drinking. I'm trying to help people in dire need, and the two of them are drinking. They always have been thoughtless, but at least they were punished for it. One of the ordinal monks who helps out here. 
He was the one who brought the booze. All three of them got friendly pretty fast. <laughs> you know what they say about birds of a feather. Oh, okay. A costly brawl. And do you know what got between them? I don't have a clue. One minute they're the best friends in the world, and then... A lot of yelling and furniture flying around. They threw Fritz and Matthew out straight afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of person is this Elias? Mm, a timid kind of fellow. And why is he being so hard on Fritz and Matthew? They're drowning in debt because of him, and it seems all they had was a small fight. I don't know. He was the one who wanted to befriend them in the first place. I don't believe it's because of any property damage they did. It's got more to do with wounded pride. Thank you. Yeah, okay. That's all. I don't know if you've heard about it, but Merhoyev was attacked. Oh God! How is Matthias? Wounded in the arm. He's being brave about it, but his injury looks bad. I need to see him. Before you go, there's something else. What? There's plague. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoyev. Their livestock has died off, and now the people are coming down with it too. Yeah. I thought maybe someone here might know what to do. Merciful heavens. How awful. It's a good thing you've come here. If there's any hope, this is the place to find it. You need Brother Nicodemus, the monastery physician. He may know how to deal with it. Yeah, Very well. all right. I'll try to find him. Come back when you know more. Thank you, Johanka. How about the sick and injured? I don't suppose there's so many now. Perhaps. Though it's very slow progress. And since the construction started, we've constantly had men coming in with bruises and cuts. Yeah. That's how it goes with building work. It's easy to get hurt. That now is true. We have one who was hit on the head by a fallen stone. He's good as dead, but still breathing. They say the stone blocks are bad. They brought them from Townberg, and I heard other things are going on around the site as well. well what could hmm. be worse than stone blocks falling on people's heads? Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. They're saying the whole construction site is cursed. A skull was found there, and people think it belonged to the devil. One laborer already ran away. That's interesting. Maybe I should ask around. The master builder won't tell you anything, but Brother Overseer might. God be Brother with Overseer? Okay. Got a whole bunch of missions all of a sudden. Uh, Brother Nicodemus. Some kind of disease has taken hold in Merhoya. Your hanker said that you might be able to advise. Yes. A disease, you say? How intriguing. Yes, yes, it's very interesting. But can you help these people? Yeah. <laughs> I can't say at this point. I need to find out a little more. Tell me, has the whole village come down with it? Uh, about half the houses. No, I mean, not yet. Several households have, around half the village. Merhoyed? Isn't there a stud farm there? And what of the animals? Did they get infected too? Yes, yes absolutely. Farm. And they've all died off. The horses, the cattle, chickens, and now it's got to the people. That mm -hmm. is most intriguing. What are we to do about it? Do you know the symptoms? I do. Yes, more or less. Excellent. I have several extensive volumes here in the library. Describe the epidemic, including the symptoms, and we could take some guidance there. Can you read? I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> Excellent. So follow me to the scriptorium. All right. So, where shall we start? Evidently there's something amiss in the digestive tract. In the what? Seems that way. The digestive tract, Henry. Um, right. <sighs> the trouble lies between the mouth and the arsehole. Uh-huh. Sure. Just so. We can rule <laughs> nothing out at this stage. You look in the Breviarum to Cygnus Causa. It's a renowned manuscript from Salerno, written by one Johann of St. Paul. But I don't All know right. Latin. Fortunately for you... Our brother librarian is translating these momentous medical works into the common tongue. So you can still be of use. All Study right. the breviary carefully. 
and compare the symptoms with the recorded cases. That will guide us. I'll try the right. proven classics. I took a nap. All right, Candice. <laughs> <Medicinae>. <laughs> Was Magnifus, your nap good? The Ars Medicinalis. May the Lord watch over you. Okay, so I gotta go find some more medical books. Wait, this book? I already read this book. Oh, uh, yes, okay. Um. Hmm. I don't think it's that. Um. Does not infect animals. Okay, so it, it isn't that one then either. Plague caused by black bile symptoms many. All right. Did, is there anything about animals here? Oh, wait. What did that say? Small animals do not suffer from the plague, but bigger ones may be infected. Huh. Dysentery? Yeah, that sounds like it. This is the one that it sounds like. The plague caused... Yes. Yes, yeah, because spastic movements... Yes, exactly. This is what we need, I think. Um, it doesn't say what that is, though. It just says that's a disease. Bridger says hi to you. Oh, well, hello, Bridger. <laughs> yeah. Poisoning, fever, and, well, manifesting in fever and delirium. That's another one. Do I just need to read through all of this, or do I just have to pick the one? Pressure on the nose and mouth, okay. Not sure if I have to actually pick one of these or not. What? Bandages? And where is. Let's see, I know what ails them. Yes? And what do you make of it? Plague, dysentery, wait, these ones? It didn't tell me what they were, I think dysentery. I fear it's dysentery. Really? That sounds Probably. <laughs> but if I'm watching both of you guys play, all right. So, who am I to contradict him? We shall have to prepare some medicine at once. Yeah, I can help. I can help with that. Really? Sure, why not? Yes, I know my way around the alchemistic arts. An ordinary fellow who knows the arts of physic? Who would have thought it? Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you the recipe. And you have my permission to make use of the monastery laboratory. Awesome. I'll right away. I, meanwhile, shall head straight to, uh, where was it again? Merhoyed. Yeah, <laughs> where am I going? Oh, yes, Merhoyed. I'll take your hanker with me. She has no equal in caring for the sick. Once you have the medication ready, hurry after me. Oh, Thank okay. you, Brother Nicodemus. Yeah, I need to cure the There's one captive man there first. Who needs your care more urgently than anyone. He's an important witness in the investigation of some murders. Yeah. Out of the question. I shall spend time with the sick in order of their medical needs, not your worldly needs. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Farewell. All right. What is it that I got to make then? I think it's something for digestion then, right? I just can't. Antidote, Omen's Brew, Bane Potion, that's not it. Bard Potion, I have too many recipes. Oh wait, Digestive Potion, that's what I need. Uh, let's see, I need two chamomile and some mint. I don't have those. Okay, hang on. I gotta go find some stuff, guys. <laughs> See, can I steal over his herb garden? Hope I can. But right, I just need some chamomile and some mint. That's all. Nothing else. Let's see, um, mint. Great. Mint and where's the chamomile then? I might just have to buy it from him. Actually, he might sell those things. Hang on. 
Brother Nicodemus, come back here. Don't leave just yet. I must purchase several things from you first. I think he's gone. <laughs> I didn't know. He has his hood up. He's a younger guy. Well, that sucks. All right. <laughs> hey, Overseer, I need to talk to you too. I'd like to look at the place where the accident happened. Do I have your permission to enter the construction site? And what's your interest in this matter? This is not the first accident, and I'm afraid it won't be the last. These things happen. There's no cause for investigation. But if the stone was actually poor quality, then there should be consequences, shouldn't there? Consequences? <laughs> yes, maybe. Oh, very well. Thank you. Yeah, uh, all right. Don't interfere in their work and don't get in the way. <laughs> or you're likely to end up with a broken head yourself. May the Lord watch Great. <laughs> I'll try not to get hit in the head with a rock. Oh, wait. Did you not leave? No, this is the other guy. Know about the fight. fight, heathens. Yeah. <laughs> so it was you they fought with. Yes, it was me, and I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt. How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury, brutes. <laughs> um. How much do they owe? How much do they owe? A lot. How much is a lot? A hundred, that's it? Satisfied? Seventy. That's not enough. Not enough? What are you talking about? Eighty. No. Pay, Pay it all, really? I'm here. How much does a lot? Ninety, then. Well. I said ninety. <laughs> just... Fine, 95. This guy's not budging on his price. Alright. That frits the news. Yeah, that'd be great. Gotta find the other brother, though. I gotta find some chamomile. He didn't leave any here for me. There's plenty of bandages, it though, here. <laughs> I wonder if you can actually just pick up all the bandages to give to the other guy here, then. Maybe. Um, hmm. he might have already been like way off to who knows where. Brother Porter, do you sell stuff? Can I take a look inside? What's got into you, boy? Take care now. Okay. Apparently not. Hmm. I don't know where chamomile would regularly grow. Yeah, it shows somebody is being here, but he's he's gone. That's not gonna help me. <laughs> um, is there anybody else that sells stuff like that in town? Maybe. There's that charlatan guy. He might sell me some stuff. <laughs> he might have chamomile. You never know. <laughs> Is that, I'm certain I, well, we know we just got the mint, so we need, what, two chamomile, one mint? It'd be better if I could get a lot of it, though, that way if I screw up it doesn't matter. What do you sell? The Lord be uh, nothing I need. Look, yes, you're the charlatan. <laughs> the trade. Oh, he does have chamomile. Only he only has one though. I need two.
What about you, Grocer? Do you sell chamomile? Um, no, she doesn't. Maybe the general store? Just go and talk to everybody. Maybe the weaponsmith sells them. <laughs> you never know. God save. Hey, chamomile, I need some more chamomile. Ah, you do actually. So oh, you have just have ten. Awesome. Great. Well, then I only have five dollars. What a deal. Hey, man, bro, how's it going? CS Go, Coach. I actually have it set up to where it is uh, displaying. I am on. Uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance today on Twitch. Thank you for reminding me of that. I do appreciate that. All right, now we can go back up and make ourselves some digestion potions. Save these people. Did you get further in your game? Did you get past the, uh, the warp section then? End out from Brother Nicodemus how things are going. Okay. Yeah, I saw that on Twitch. Awesome. Right now, we're also doing part of the main mission. There's a plague. And we got a... I think it's a plague of dysentery, so we got to make some digestion potions for everybody. Get them all feeling good again. Uh, let's see. Start alchemy. I don't need this. I need digestion. Going. I'm playing a bunch of different games, but I will probably grind <laughs> before getting back. All right. Yeah, if you want to. Let's see. Two chamomile, one mint. All right. You need spirits, a handful of mint, and two chamomile. Grind the chamomile, drop everything into the cauldron, and boil it one time. That's it? Cool. That should be one of the easiest ones to do then. All right, so spirits. I'm wearing merchandise from your channel. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, Candace. I have more merchandise actually coming out soon. Um, I've got an artist making me some new designs for the little Reaper girl. Um, he should be sending them to me, I think, on the 3rd of December. So then I can start putting those on t-shirts and stuff. T-shirts and masks and things like that. Let's see, I need to grind this up. I actually need to grind all of it up. I don't know if I need to grind it up one at a time or if I can do two at a time. I'll try two at a time first. Okay, and then can't drop everything else in there, so that in there. But I'm still going to buy that. Yeah, you can check out what I got on my um, my merch store right now if you want to. Um, it's linked in my videos at the Teespring. And then we just boil this over once. All right. I don't know if we need to do that, but we will. Yeah, I'll put it on everything, so it should be on shirts, hoodies, uh, leggings. I'm trying to remember what else we got. Pet jackets, I think. <laughs> uh, fanny packs, beach towels, socks. Okay, well, I will sure check it out. Awesome. All right, I think it's boiled over once now, so it... Should be ready then to put in a jar. So we'll complete the potion. Awesome. I don't know how many of these I should make though. Because I think this gives me three. Legging sweet, I'm so going <laughs> for those to work. Yeah, you can. Um I, th I think there's a couple of them out now in leggings. I think I have one of each design. So I've got the cute little Reaper, the Reaper girl, and then the uh, the more fantasy Dark Souls Reaper. Let's, see, let's make this again. 
just to be extra sure. I won't get any sleep. I just won't oh, get any sleep. I have to read this to prepare it. All right, whoops. Do that first. Well, you got your merch star? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a merch star. It's actually been doing quite well, too. I'm surprised how many people were interested in it. Because a couple of people were messaging me asking if I had any merch or had a merch star, and I sort of did for a while, but... Like, I didn't really put much on it. It was like t-shirts of the, the regular little Reaper logo that I got on my channel. And he's available still on, like, socks and stuff. But then I hired three artists over on Fiverr. Made a video about that. Did you say hats? I don't have hats. Um, hats you have to buy, like, so many of. And I didn't know if the, the cost would be worth it then. Essential worker, what do you do? <laughs> Essential worker, what do you do? Okay. <laughs> um... You mean like, what do I do for work besides this or? Oh, that I use them to find the artist for my book. Awesome. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff on Fiverr. Like so many talented people that make awesome things. Because I had hired one guy to do at Let's Be Real. Oh, what does Be Real do? Oh, she's a she's a counselor. Oh, okay. I think we're done here. Yep, she's also a novelist now too. She has a book out. Is this? All right. I can't sleep. Got a couple of these done, so Let's see if we were actually right in saying this was dysentery. It's gonna suck if it wasn't. This one, find out. Oh, okay. Yes, find out things. Yeah. Yep. Licensed drug towns. Oh man, so much talent. <laughs> yes, she is very talented. She also has a cool YouTube channel to check out, too. Corpse? Oh, there's another corpse on the road. Who's this, then? <laughs> this looks like an ambush. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on a second. That doesn't belong there. Anybody else see the helmet in the bush? <laughs> he didn't like that too much. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh no, not your dog. Not your dog. Get your dog off me. <sighs> dogs are so strong. If they just sent an army of dogs at me, I'd be so dead. Oh, yeah, I caught the arrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is a weird place. I can pick up the arrow from my shield right there. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's see. Ooh, some salami, too. <laughs> Puppy. <laughs> yeah, I always feel bad about killing the dogs, but... They're not fun to fight. Wait. Why? Why did you leave your friends? Alright. Yeah, let's mercy kill the poor guy. He's suffering. More bandages. Russian. Lockpicks. 
All right. One taps with the mace. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just give him a nice little love tap with the mace. That's all you got to do. Oh, he should have listened to his wife or showed her helmet. <laughs> yes. He should have listened to his wife and worn a shorter helmet. That's correct. Yeah, I, I, I originally thought that was like something else sticking out of the bush. I was like, what the heck is? Well, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, don't wear this big pointy hat if you want to be stealthy. <laughs> People can see you. I mean, it, it makes your head look bigger, which is, you know, kind of imposing, I guess. But it does give you away a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the other guys were hiding better out from those bushes because I didn't see them. I figured there had to be at least a couple of them, though. <laughs> well, yeah, like, try out the maces and warhammers. I love them. They're so good, especially the later it goes. It's like everybody's then got, like, the brigandine and the plate armor and stuff, which is so good at protecting against slashes and stabs but it's not good against just crushing blows. So, like, maces and hammers just chew right through it. <laughs> or, of course, if you can get pole arms. Hmm. I'll see what's going on here. And then we'll probably, probably call this stream good. I've been streaming for quite a while. All right, Yohank is here. Where is... Where's the priest? Or monk, or whatever he is. Must be in this house. Yeah, he is. How are things looking here? How are things looking? It doesn't look good at all, my boy. Do you have the potion? Not yet. I... Wait, what? So what on earth are you doing here? I do have the potion. If we don't give them the potion in time, those people will be joining the heavenly choir soon. Get that medicine, Henry. There will be I I have digestion potion. Is that what I need? Is, it, is that not what I need? What exactly does that do anyway? I have six of them. Reduce our stuff by cures food poisoning. Yeah, exactly. Oh, maybe that's the problem. Maybe I need something else. Hmm. All right, well, we can figure that out next time. Get this all sorted out then. All right, but it, it's been fun streaming today. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow as well. Tomorrow we're going to be streaming Plants vs. Zombies, and it's going to be for a charity. It's going to be for the uh, Gary Sinise Foundation, which is a foundation that helps with wounded vets and wounded vets' families. So hopefully just I can see all you guys there. Um, and then if you want to donate, you do have to go over on Twitch. That's the only way I can get Tiltify to go through but uh yeah hope to see you guys there i will be there tomorrow awesome candace yeah it should be a fun day tomorrow i'll probably stream for i don't know four or five six hours however long i feel like streaming that day i guess uh should be a lot of fun and i hope to see all of you guys there thanks everybody for coming out i really do appreciate it thanks for all the likes the follows the subscribes the shares um i really do appreciate all of them and I will talk to all of you guys next time. Until then, stay cool and bye.